Welcome to Park Hall. It's the home of the Welsh Premier League champions, the New Saints. And tonight we're bringing you live coverage of their home leg, the second leg of the second qualifying round of the European League. Yes, it's the big competition, of course, that everybody wants to see. But the New Saints, I have to tell you, have got a big job on their hands. Last Tuesday in Croatia, they lost 2-0. They didn't score an away goal. Now, that's not fatal, but you really do need to get one in this competition. This is the New Saints. 50th match in Europe. It's a terrific record. 30 of those have been in the Champions League. They've won seven and lost four. But along the way of that history, they played some really big clubs. They played Manchester City and Liverpool. Now, this is a full-time professional club and they've just dominated the Welsh Premier League. They've won a record 11 times and the last six seasons, they've been champions. In fact, the last two years, they've done the Welsh treble of two cups and the league. So let's bring in in the chairman, Mike Harris. He's the owner, the founder, and the man who makes it tick here. So you dominate the Welsh League. I mean, you win so easily. What a contrast this is for you. I've got to sort of take you back on a little bit of that. We hard fight it, and I, I will say to you, there's some very good clubs in our league. We haven't always won it. Yes, we've had a good run of six seasons, but, hey, we've had some tough seasons as well where we've been pipped to the post. And um, uh, I will say to you that um, it's, the league is steadily getting better and better and better. Well, you've won the last six seasons. We have, yes, and I, I think that's a, a testimony to some of the processes that goes on on the pitch, off the pitch, uh, the knowledge and, and, and sometimes clubs who make a challenge. That familiarity does give us a little bit of an edge. OK, now what about Europe? That's a different ball game altogether. Definitely the same thing again. Uh, the game last week, if we'd have played that game 10 years ago, that game would have been probably 8, probably 7, 8 nil. Um, as it was, we probably went away from the game being a little disappointed that we didn't get the away goal. And, you know, on a different day, we could have been really jammy and, and, and won the game 3-2. What do you think realistically, Mike, is going to happen tonight? Well, as I never say before the game, I'm happy, I'm confident. I've got a lot of faith in, 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 the, in the guys that are uh, running the team for me and the players that play in that team. You know, we, we're, we're not here to take part. We're here to compete. And, and there's a difference. You know, many years ago, teams from our league would have been taking part. Today, we are definitely here to compete. Whether we're good enough to, um, to take the tie, um, only time will tell. But we're not, we're not here to roll over. We're here to give them a good go. What do you think of the opposition, Rijeka? Very, very good side. Their striker, um, he's um, an international for uh, Switzerland, scores goals against Germany. Uh, their centre midfield, Croatian international, their captain, quality player. Those two players are fantastic, along with five other international players. You mean, uh, and, 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 you know, and when you're playing against teams like that, you, you've got to be on your, um, you've got to be on your game, because if you're not, they're going to punish you every time. So, what about this ground? Tell us about the history of this club. Uh, the club. The club, obviously, uh, when I got involved, was in a village called Lance and Fried. Very, very proud history. They'd managed to win the Welsh Cup. Um, they approached me, would I help them with some sponsorship? And uh, the then president, uh, Mike Hughes, who sadly isn't with us today, um, a very good friend of mine, and um, said, Mike, we... we we want to be able to try and kick on from here. And together, we put a plan together, and slowly but surely, we won the league possibly a little early in 2000. We paid the price then for the next three years because Barrytown came really back at us. And then we, we re-established ourselves, and um, ultimately, um, that learning period of soccer, which I wasn't involved in soccer prior, I was involved in business. But over, over time, we've, we've learned many things, we've implemented processes. Uh, we had a ground um, in a village of 900 people, which couldn't be developed to satisfy UEFA criteria. Uh, at the time, sadly, that uh, Oswald Street Town went into a demise um, around 2003, and um, this um, this ground or this location became available. Uh, so we chose to um, uh, pay off Oswald Street Town's debts and develop this pitch here, which meant, meant that the merger of Oswald Street and Lance and Fried made a, a, a marriage in heaven, really, because Oswald Street had the uh, the pitch and uh, we had the successful club in Lance and Fried. So together now, the we, two clubs, one town. 
Finally, um, you've been here since 2007. I just want to talk about the pitch because it's artificial and uh, the opposition Three acres have only trained on it at home. They have never played a football match on it. What sort of advantage is this going to give you tonight? Hey, look, football's played on pitches. Look back in the days of, of what is now the, the English Premier League, and you look at those mud baths that are today. They're beautiful grass pitches, but they all have the aid of synthetics. You know, and you know, you see a gorgeous lady. Sometimes they have the aids of synthetics as well. You know, it it is what it is, and uh, ultimately it's 11 men against 11 men. Yeah, you know, one day it's an advantage to you, they'll say, and another day it's an advantage to somebody else. So. Um, I'm always a big believer that everyone has to um, adjust to the conditions they find in front of them. And uh, let's just hope that tonight these conditions suit our team. Well, thank you very much indeed, Chairman. Scott Roscoe, you're the interim manager at the moment. That's not a great title, really, is it? Not really, but it's one where um, you know it's one where I'm honoured to be, even if it's interim manager. You know, it's uh, it's one where I'd, I'd love to have the job permanently. So that's down to the chairman. We'll see how it goes. Is this really important for that decision? Do you think? I think so. Um, you know, last round was one where we were we were seeded. They were the unseeded team. We needed to win that round. This team, uh, we're playing against the Croatia champions, very strong, but we're still in the tie. It's 2-0. Uh, half time in the tie. Uh, we're not out of it. How damaging is the fact that um, you didn't get an away goal? Do you think? Yes, it is. It would have it would have set the tie up a lot better than it is, you know, tonight. But we're still in it. Early goal. Um, we'll keep in the tie as long as we can. Get an uh, get an early goal, and, and we'll see what they they're made of. We should explain that Craig Harrison, who was so successful here as a manager, you were working with him, yeah, has yeah. gone to Hartlepool. Um, have you carried on with his type of play? Yeah, we, we've we've not changed in any style of play. Um, we've changed a couple of formations, but that's uh, that was needs must uh, due to the opposition and, and the scoreline. But uh, we, we don't change any any sort of style of football here. It's, it was bef uh, as I played. We had Ken McKenna, we've had Carl Darlington, we've had Andy Kale. We've all played the same way. Uh, obviously, with Craig Harrison, I was assistant manager, and uh, we'll continue doing the same things as we did with, with the previous managers. Scott Quigley has scored three of your goals in Europe in the yeah. two games this season. He's obviously, I would think, I mean, what's your opinion, a really key player? Yeah, he's a fantastic player. He's, he's got pace, he's strong, he scores goals, he's got right foot, left foot. He can pass it into the net, he can smash it into the net. He's got everything that you need from a sort of an old-fashioned centre-forward. Um, you know, if he keeps doing what he's doing, then, uh, you know, there'll be... There'll be a lot more clubs coming to look at him and, and try and surprise him away from us. Rijeka, um, what are they all about as far as yours are concerned? Good side. They're a good side. They've got internationals, full internationals playing for them. Um, they've got uh, Swiss international up front that scored, I think, four, four in seven appearances for Switzerland. They've got Macedonia, they've got Croatian internationals. They're, they're a good side. They're, they won the double last season. Uh, you know, if you're beating teams of Hadjik Split, Croatia, Zagreb, uh, to the title and to the Cups, you're a, you're a very strong team. Uh, I think a, a bit of money's been put into the, the side as well. Uh, I like the way they play. Uh, very, very good attacking side. They keep the ball moving uh, and they get lots of shots at goal. So we've got to keep them at bay tonight and, and uh, look to get them on the counter uh, and look to get any chances we can and hopefully tonight we can put those away. Is there always a worry that you're going to give a goal away? Is that, is that of course, the, of course yeah. there is. You know, if they're getting away a goal, that's three. We need to score four goals. Uh, we will be up against it then. But we won't drop our heads. We won't get our heads down. We certainly won't lie down. Uh, whatever the result tonight, I'm proud of the players. Uh, they've done in the last six, seven weeks. Uh, they're going to give their all. Just ask you finally about the pitch. Is that a form of advantage, do you think? Uh, they play on grass pitches. I don't think any of the... They only train on this. They, they, don't do they, else. they train on it and it'll be watered. This hasn't been watered. It's very sticky. Uh, you know, it makes for a slow tempo game. But um, we're used to playing on it. They're not used to coming to the surroundings. I've just heard a comment from one of their, their staff members. Uh, was was pretty derogatory, so I'll use that in my, uh, my, my talk just before we go out on the pitch. But, you know, we'll give it our all. We'll give it our best shot. Good luck for you and good luck for the team. I hope you can do it. Thank you very much. So that's the view of the interim manager. He needs all the luck he can get tonight. It will be interesting to see how the first half goes, whether they can get on the score sheet. Well, let's find out now about the background of tonight and everything else you need to know from our commentary team. Tommy Holmes, who played 11 seasons at centre-half here at the New Saints. And Stuart Bohr is first of all. Good evening and welcome to Park Hall. I hope you've enjoyed the show so far. I am indeed Stuart Bloor. Thank you to Gary there and the interviews with our chairman, Mike Harris, and our interim 
first team manager Scott Roscoe. I'm joined this evening by a TNS legend, Tommy Holmes. Welcome, Tommy. Kind words, Stuart. It's always a pleasure to come back to Park Hall. Well, kind words indeed, but of course it is the truth. Now we're going to talk a little bit about you first of all, Tommy. You played here for 11 seasons, which at the prime of your career is pretty much a one-club man. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, when I first came here, we were part-time. We didn't have much. And then after the bad season, Mike uh, Aris decided we were going to go full-time. So uh, from there, it went from there, basically. And of course, when you did come here, first of all, it wasn't here literally, but it was the village of Thlansan Fried, the other side of the border. Yeah, it was. Uh, we played on grass pitches back then, and uh, I loved that little ground. And then, uh, obviously, this this smashing developments happened here, and uh, the money was pumped in. And uh, look at the amazing facility we've got now. And it is an amazing facility indeed. And when you do come back, like you are this evening, do you often look and think? I, I wish I was born 20 years younger and I could be playing out there right now. Oh, yeah, indeed. Uh, I'd love to be out there now, but obviously the legs uh, won't do it no more. But as I say, it's always a pleasure to come back and see all the friendly faces. Indeed. I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We are going to run through the lineups for you, starting with the HNK Rijeka. HNK, by the way, stands for Croatian Football Club. So that's what it means <laughs> if you are wondering. Well, they've got one change from last week. Simon Sluger is in goal. Stefan Ristovsky, Leonard Zuta, Hebert Dos Santos, as you can probably tell by his name, he is a Brazilian. Signed in 2017 from another Croatian side, Slaven Belupo, where he scored 10 goals in 30 appearances. And then we've got Florentin Matei, Dario Zuparic, Josip Elez, Alexander Gorgon. Reference was made to him, I believe, earlier. Uh, Austrian, signed from Austria, Vienna, 135 appearances. 47 goals and he signed for Rijeka in 2016 and 25 appearances prior to this season of course and 12 goals and Joseph Message number 27 28 is Philip Braderic he's the captain this evening and Marko Vesevic and on the bench for the champions of Croatia Ivan Nevestic Roberto Puncic Macic Chernic, Mario Gavranovic, Goodness Ajayi, he's a Nigerian, Damjan Djokovic and Mate Malesh. And we move to the home side now. Uh, Paul Harrison, goalkeeper and captain, Simon Spender, Steve Saunders, Connell Rawlinson, John Routledge, Ryan Brobble, Wes Fletcher, Jamie Mullen, Scott Quigley, Aaron Edwards, Ryan Price, and unchained side for yet another Champions League encounter for the new Saints on the bench for the champions of Wales. Andy Witchley, goalkeeper, Greg Draper, New Zealand international, Robbie, Robbie Parry, Blaine Hudson, Tom Holland, Alex Darlington, and Adrian Sislovich. Over to you, Tommy. Uh, some of those names, even though you haven't been at the club now for about six seasons, some of those names you are still familiar with? Oh, yeah, about four or five of them uh, were here when I was here. Some of them are young lads, and obviously they've progressed, and they're at this level now. They're doing very well. Well, as you and I walked around the pitch to make our way to the gantry where we are this evening, a lot of those players out there training, they recognised you, they came over, high fives, handshakes, big smiles all round. You were a popular figure here at Park Hall and Clansan Fried before that. <laughs> yeah, as I say, enjoyed my time here. I was, a large part of my career was spent here and I was very sad to leave, but uh, I went on to pastures new and it's always good to come back. And you still kick a ball around now? Uh, yeah, I was on a Sunday for the local uh, football team. How hard is it, Tommy, for a, a, a player who's played professional football to hang up his boots totally and not have a kick around? Yeah, it was difficult. Well, I, I, I sort of semi-retired a couple of years ago and then I was missing the Saturday side of it where, you, you know, the preparation, the banter... So uh, I got back into it and enjoyed it, and I, I, I've done it two or three years. And then uh, I'm starting to go into the coaching side now. 
okay coaching so w was that something you planned to do when you were playing or does that come in later uh, a bit later on to be honest I was always uh, interested in it I always uh, took the tips from all my old managers have had and uh, I'm really enjoying it at the moment and I've, um, I'm just starting my badges now so it's a be a long drawn process but something that I'm going to work harder Hopefully well, be a success. You've had a successful career at the New Saints. Could we see an equally successful one on the other side of the fence in coaching? Well, I'll never say never, but as I say, I'm just at the beginning at the moment. But uh, I, just, I like just the coaching at the moment. I feel I'm a better coach than uh, a manager. But we'll see how, how I'll progress in the next few years. Well, as you can see from the images on the screen, the players are about to enter the field of play. Are you excited this evening? I can tell you we are very much so. TNS going into this tie, 2-0 down from the first leg over in Croatia. Four minutes on the clock. It was a free kick, perfectly executed. Paul Harrison stood no chance whatsoever. We and I say that most sincerely, we're probably fearing the worst, but the New Saints held out until well into the second half. Unfortunately, it was that second goal, and then desperately trying to get one back, a couple of late chances which didn't go in, of course. So 2-0 this evening. Technically, Tommy, TNS just need to win. I say just need to win. <laughs> Sounds a matter of fact, just need to win 2-0 to take it to extra time. Yeah, well, uh, obviously 2-0 is a disappointing result, but if you go back 10, 12 years, we would have been happy with that because I've been on the end of some 8-2 defeats, 5-0 defeats, and it just shows how far TNS have come in such a short space of time, really, that they're competing uh, year in, year out on, uh, on the European stage. You make a very good point there, one that I was about to make myself. When you look at TNS's record in Europe, say 10 years ago etc then there were some heavy defeats but in recent years especially the last couple or so then the club has come very very close indeed a couple of seasons back against the Hungarian champions 1-0 at Park Hall uh, deficit and that was a slip we went out to Sekesh Ferovar and we won 1-0 over 90 minutes. Unfortunately, they scored the goal in extra time that took them through last season against the champions of Cyprus, 0-0 here at Park Hall, and then 54 minutes on the clock, and Paul Harrison was rooted. It was a wicked deflection. TNS were forced to come out. The second goal was conceded, and the third one was a penalty right on the stroke of full time. So when you analyse not just the result, but also the performances actually that breakthrough that the chairman and all of us want here at the new saints into the group stages that's not that far away when you look at it no, i just think it's a matter of time to be honest like they're getting regular uh, successful results in europe and uh, soon they'll be on the big stage i firmly believe it and, and you've played a few games yourself as well tommy in europe 19 appearances and one sub yeah 19 and one sub yeah <laughs> enjoyed every pop been all around we played obviously liverpool two legs and the left unfortunately we played uh, man city i was injured had a really bad injury i was out for four months i was going to be taxed with the job of uh, man mark and trevor sinclair on the night but <laughs> a week before i uh, rolled my ankle and that was the end of that oh, you must have been gutted yeah it was yeah but uh, as i say i've had many uh, nights in uh, Europe that I've enjoyed and it's been brilliant to be honest. And we, we talk about disappointment, of course as a footballer the whole world of soccer is littered with disappointments, it's a tough world, you, you're the, the star one moment, you drop the next week, you, you're in the team, you're out the team, you're injured, you miss these big games, it takes a lot of mental character to survive in the world of football for as long as you did. Yeah it is, that's for me, you, you know you have your setbacks but as long as you're positive and work hard, you know, you, you can get back and be playing these big games like this tonight. And it is a big game indeed. And if you are familiar with Park Hall, then we are in the TV gantry. We've got cameramen all around us. And to our left, as we look out across towards the venue facility, we have a, a corner of Rijeka fans. And they're noisy, they're excited, they expect their team to go through this evening. Will they be disappointed at the end of it, Tommy? 
Well, hopefully, if, you know, TNS get an early goal, you know, it's going to change the matters considerably. Uh, we'll just see what happens. But as long as TNS are positive, they go out. We don't, they don't want to go straight out attacking. They don't want to concede any early goals, or they're going to need four goals to go through, aren't they? So, of see how course, it goes. that that goal conceded, if it should happen, would be a, a, an uphill struggle more so than it is now already. Yeah, they'll hear, well, TNS will be set up, Scotty and Neville have them set up, so they'll know all know the jobs and they'll be confident to go through, so hopefully it's an enjoyable game. TNS are in a familiar kit to fans of the Champions of Wales, green and white hooped shirts, white shorts, white socks. The visitors all in burgundy. Well, we often say all in burgundy or all in blue or whatever, but there are normally a few little stripes on there, but they're actually pretty much all in burgundy this evening, Tommy. Yeah, there'll be no clashes of kits tonight. There, there certainly won't, will there? Well, we are moments away from kickoff. TNS are defending the car park end, and from where we are situated, they are kicking from right to left as the, the officials, they're all from Bulgaria this evening, the referee, a couple of assistants, of course, and a fourth official. He's uh, counting the players there on the pitch, making sure they've both got 11. We could do it 12 or 13 this evening, Tommy, but I don't think we're going to get away with it. <laughs> and I think he's about to blow any moment now, signalling now to his assistants. Thumbs up there if you're watching the game. Puts the whistle to his mouth, and we're off. As the visitors, they have early possession in their own half, down on their right-hand flank, passing it around. TNS don't need to go gungo, do they, though, Tommy? No, certainly not. As I say, they're both going to be testing each other out the first 10-15, just seeing what they've both got, and then um, the game will settle, hopefully. They just need to keep it tight, TNS, to start. As expected, Scott Quigley, he's old in the line up front on his own. Got very, very good support, though, of course, as the ball comes into the TNS box. Well shepherded there, though, by Simon Spender. Paul Harrison off his line quickly, he gathers. Well, he's a, a figure that you're familiar with, Paul Harrison. Oh, yeah, Paul Harrison, phenomenal goalkeeper. His distribution, second to none. Uh, and when he joined in the five side, he's possibly the best, one of the best players at the club, playing out as well. Yeah, that, that is a, a, a well-recognised fact that he does like to play outside, of course, the goal when he's in training games and uh, the team are on the pitch. But back to the action with the, the number 27 there, Mesec, he spreads the ball across onto the left-hand side. They're passing, they're probing, trying to get through the massive green and white shirts in front of them. Just Quigley up front, he's still well in his own half. All the action now into the... TNS half with the number six down the right hand side, Ristovsky, a good player from the first leg over there in Croatia. They're keeping possession, but as long as they stay there, Tommy, they're not troubling TNS. The New Saints won't be too fussed keeping them at that distance. No, uh, as I say, TNS have got TNS have got a great shape at the moment. Uh, they're looking solid. They're shuffling over. They're being patient. They're uh, passing it round, but they're not really causing no problems. As they get in the final third, they're going to start trying to probe. But at the moment, TNS look all right. It is early doors, of course, just two minutes on the clock. As the New Saints have a break on the far side, Spender tries to find Quigley. Not able to get to that, though. That gets back to the keeper, plays a short edge of the box. They're about halfway in their own period now, bringing it forward with the number six, Ristovsky, just beneath us here. One of the uh, Macedonian internationals in the side, 33 caps and one goal. They have a, a, a Massive experience, a wealth of experience in their side. Yeah, as I say, you just got to look at the international apps and even look at the budget. The budget, the budget is so much bigger than TNS's. But so it's just a testament to TNS that they're competing on this level year in, year out. Yeah, 24 times the budget of the new Saints. But when you look out there right now, there's not that gap is there between the sides as TNS are, are defending, getting players behind the ball, but still looking comfortable. Yeah, as you say, uh, anything can happen on a football pitch at the end of the day. It's 11 v 11. They so spread it down happen. the right-hand side to Ristovsky, looking to feed it back in with Vesovic. Ball played in, straight to Simon Spender. Fumbles a, a little there, although he does manage to get it back to Harrison. Long ball to 
Quigley still with the New Saints. Brubble on the right hand side. Spender behind him goes for the option. The centre back Saunders and Rawlinson this evening. Now, Tommy, you were a, a centre half, of course. And when you're watching a game like tonight, do you find your eyes strain more to the centre halves? Yeah, as I say, when I, as soon as I got here, we, we encouraged the player from the back straight away, and this is the way TNS have played for you know 10, 12 years. And uh, no matter what, you try and play. And um, yeah, I said they got, he's got good positional since Connell. When I first came, he was just a young lad, then he wasn't really getting in the team. But uh, now he's a regular, week in, week out. Yeah, one of the mainstays of the side. And as we said at the beginning, an unchanged team from last week out there in Croatia as they continue to keep possession. Ryan Price does very well, though, hooks that clear only as far as the right back headed down there with the number 20, Gorgon. Good play, though, from Fletcher defending back deep in his own half as the Croatians get possession once more. All this happening now in the new Saints half. As you can see, green and white shirts behind the ball. Certainly don't want to take any chances early on. As we said earlier, that one goal for the visitors means that TNS need to score four on the night. Yeah, that's it. They just got, as I say, they got to size them up, take no chances. It's going to be hard. TNS and I's obviously at the moment is just closing down, but uh, the, the game will soon settle and they'll have a spell. I'm sure of it. Absolutely, and that was the case out there in Rijeka last week. They came at us full throttle out of the traps, but the New Saints held on, held on comfortably, got into the game and actually did, did well, apart from the two goals, of course, but the performance, a lot to take from that as Harrison clears one, again, looking for Quigley. He's, he's the target man this evening, isn't he? He's big, he's strong, he's up there on his own. They're going to try and get the ball to him as quickly as possible. Yeah, uh, the few times I've seen Scott Quigley, I've been very impressed. He's got, he's both footed, he's strong, he's quick, he's direct, and he's got a very bright future. He most certainly has, and he's also got a, a bright present as well, and he could certainly write himself in the history books this evening, of course, but with now, for now, it is the Croatians on the attack. Long ball whipped into the box there, cleared by Simon Spender, no one at all on the end of it other than a burgundy shirt as they begin to push forward again. Lots of storms, Tommy, The TNS will have to weather this evening. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I, uh, I'm very impressed with uh, Spender at the moment. He's, he's defended well already. He's had about four chances to defend, dealt with it comfortably. As I say, they just ride the storm, they'll get chances themselves. A very good defender indeed, and, and uh, Chris Merritt, unfortunately, is injured, but Ryan Price is deputising well as Ristovsky gets into the box, and that was a shot and a leg stuck out there. That was a vital interception. Corner conceded, but far better than a goal. Yeah, get it. very good there, uh, moved by the visitors. Uh, yeah, Chris Marius, a massive loss for them, gives them balance on the left, but uh, Price is right-footed, but he's a, he looks like he's a good defender. I'm sure it'll be OK. As Message makes his way across. He took the corners uh, last week from both sides, so they do rely on him quite heavily. Picks the ball up, places it down. We've got all TNS players in the penalty area at this moment in time as the ball comes in, headed out there by Rawlinson. Edge of the box, headed back in. Referee blows, though, for an infringement. So danger over as far as TNS are concerned. Yeah, great defending there, great header by Connell, he's a big, strong lad. Is that the sort of header that you used to relish when you were oh. on the field, Tommy? <laughs> he's got a smile on his face. I couldn't, jump that, I couldn't jump that high. I <laughs> left all the headings of big Steve Evans. <laughs> of course, you, you played with Steve Evans at the back for a, a, a good number of years. Yeah, we were, I think we were the slowest uh, centre-half partnership ever, TNS, but we had a lot of success. <laughs> they couldn't beat they, they couldn't beat you in the air, but they could beat you on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And back to the action. Is that going to be a foul? Yes, it is. Ryan Price comes in from behind there as the visitors, the Whites, the Rieka Whites, as they are known, beat Dynamo Zagreb's hold on the Croatian Premier League last season, 11 uh, seasons in succession 
and they nicked it right at the end so they had a successful campaign of their own and we can see from what we saw out there in Croatia and here this evening that he's thoroughly deserved and they're on the attack right now with the number six again Ristovski not able to get the cross in still keeping possession though for Rijeka players on the overlap players in the box going for the latter keeping possession passing it around amongst themselves Ristovsky he plays one in again cleared by the new Saints back with the visitors though and that ball bounces off someone's Audi on the car park fortunately for them though didn't go through the windshield and he just bounced off the roof and yeah, it's gone beyond it was a nice bit of skill that but uh, the execution wasn't wasn't there They're having a bit of success down the right at the moment the visitors a couple of good one twos and they're getting in a bit it's not your car by the way is it Tommy yeah, nice no, mine's, uh, mine's on the there. grass there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I, I used to park there. There used to be a, a container, and I used to park behind the container. And then when the container was moved, I'll tell you what, I don't park behind there if I can help it. <laughs> well, it's nil-nil here at Park Hall. Nine and a half minutes gone on the clock as the champions of Wales, the New Saints FC, nil, HNK, Rijeka, nil. But of course, it's two-nil to the Croatians from the first leg so they very much hold the upper hand here and especially as the minutes tick by oh yeah they, they can be uh, afford to be patient and bide the time and and they'll be looking to nick a goal and the, the tie could be over by then and that's important that TNS do not concede that goal to nick one would be fantastic during this first half but as long as it stays nil nil then TNS are still very much into the game especially in these early stages but the visitors they come down the right hand side again Ristovsky looking lively this evening as indeed he was out there in Croatia last week ball play to Quigley gets ahead on that finds Aaron Edwards a little bit of battling there picked up by John Routledge feeds Brock switching play on the right hand side opportunity now for TNS to push forward to get green and white shirts into the opposition off ball played into the box Quigley chases makes a nuisance of himself does he win the corner in the process no he doesn't but that shows what TNS are capable of yeah they play in the right areas there he's feeding off scraps at the moment Quigley but he's an able runner and he can hold it off if given the opportunity as the kick is taken quickly, the short, they are keeping possession just into the New Saints half with Hebert playing it back there. The Brazilian signed in 2017, his previous club, another Croatian outfit, 30 appearances, 10 goals. The one thing, Tommy, that, that I noticed when I did my research before the first leg is that they've got goals in them. Yeah, they've got goals all over the pitch. What it looks like but uh, as i say you, you can have all the appearances you want on the budget it's 11 v 11 out there and anything can happen it most certainly can as that's a a good block there on the right hand side conceding the corner though in the process this time the white audi is avoided but i think it's a red voxel that got, the, got the ball that time so if you've got a white audi or a red voxel don't worry your cars are okay the ball's just scraped off them in the process but it is nil nil here at park hall two nil of course on aggregate a reminder that the first leg was last tuesday two nil to rieka they're going to get one into the box now here, Bear back header drops to Brobble, clears it there. Left footed, no one, of course, on the end of that with the uh, number six Ristovskis all, all over the place playing a ball out there, switching play on the left hand side. They're keeping possession, their fans are happy as it stands at the moment. They're in the third qualifying round, but as we know, it's an old cliche goals change games, and if the first goal were to fall to TNS, that would certainly change the complexion of this game this evening yeah TNS are more than capable of getting a, a goal against the run of play but as I say only 12 minutes has gone so just keep it tight for the first 20 and I'm sure they'll have their own opportunities and that's the voice of Tommy Holmes there by the way uh, ex TNS player TNS legend I might add from the year 2000 to 2011 
here, well, not just here at Barcourt, because, of course, he spanned the move from Flansan Fried to Parkall. I'm Stuart Bloor. We're bringing you commentary, chat and analysis of the game this evening that you're watching right now on your screens. It's nil-nil on the evening, but 2 nil overall because last week in Croatia an early goal broke the deadlock and then won into the second period 2-0 that's where we are but TNS certainly believe that they can get something out of this game as Rawlinson switches play there Spender does well to keep it in does well to get the ball forward looking for Quigley flag goes up early though so the kick is taken quickly by the visitors trying to find players down the left hand side good interception though from Steve Saunders and a ball through to Quigley in the box two players round him plays it through to Aaron Edwards well wide but again shows what TNS are capable of well that's a lot better from TNS they've been patient they kept it switched it out wide Spender done well keeping it in it's a great ball down the line Quigley's done well he's an intelligent player he's held it up and unfortunately the shot wasn't up so much as we saw there from the replay, Aaron Edwards hit it, but we know he can he can really crack them. Oh, and he's a fantastic target, player. Alan, that would have uh, been great. He played when I was here, he's brilliant. Yeah, so it's another one from, from your past as well. But it is the visitors trying to get past Ryan Price down there with the, the number 29, Vesevich. They keep possession, passing it amongst themselves. It's that man, Ristovsky again, on the ball, finds Vesevich. They're thinking of switching play. The number 10 they started this evening, Matai. They're keeping the ball, but as of yet, not troubled, Paul Harrison. No, they haven't seen. I'm very impressed with their skipper. He's always looking to probe. He's always getting on the ball available. Well, as I say, they haven't caused uh, TNS really many problems in the 18 yard box yet. We've just passed the 15 minute mark here at Park Hall, the home of the champions of Wales, six consecutive Welsh Premier League titles. But of course, it's the European Glory Knights that we all look forward to. What will tonight bring as the ball is played in, kept in as well by the visitors? It's quite windy up here on this country. I've, I've got papers and notes in front of me that are weighed down by phones and water bottles. But out there, the players are 100 percent focused on this game keeping possession, looking for an opportunity, ball played into the box, good block there by Rawlinson. He clears, nowhere near Quigley, of course, but there are times as a defender, Tommy, your first priority, your only priority, is to clear danger. Where it ends up is not really important. Most definitely, just get out your six-yard box. Okay, defender by Connolly, had no other choice, though, just to clear it. And as you said, he was at the club as well as a, as a youngster when you were here. Yeah, he was here. Obviously, we had quite a strong back four. We had, even on the bench, we had good players. And uh, he was a young lad learning his trade, but you could tell he had something. And he's come on leaps and bounds, as I can see tonight already. He most certainly has, and I guess one of the, the first names on the team sheet is a bear there, the uh, Brazilian plays that one back to Gorgon they're, they're keeping possession but as we've said not as yet troubling Paul Harrison although TNS have had a, a couple of half chances if you like at the other end but it does remain nil nil as we approach the 17 minute mark with the Croatians keeping the ball passing it around how difficult is it Tommy when you're up against the side that's not letting you get a touch or do you just be patient and let them pass it as long as they don't trouble you yeah well, as I say uh, the visitors got uh, they're in control the tuna luck you can afford to be patient but as I say I've been involved in a few nights where sometimes you haven't touched it for over 10 minutes back in the day and uh, the TNS will always have spells because they've, they've come on leaps and bounds as I said and each year they're improving as Harrison plays that one down the left-hand side, looking for Fletcher, but he's not going to get anywhere near that as Matai. He plays the ball forward, keeping possession. Lots of these crisp, 
passes from the Croatians. Good header down by Rawlinson. Edwards stumbles, tries to find Routledge. He does very well there. Down the left-hand side, unfortunately, he runs that ball out. That's a throw-in just beneath us here on the TV gantry at Park Hall, the home of the champions of Wales. It's a sellout this evening. Tickets were sold either very late last night or very early this morning because as soon as I uh, woke up and, and checked on the ticket situation, they'd all gone. So a capacity crowd here at Park Hall as the ball is played in by the Cro Croatians. That goes over the bar, but not into the car park. So if you've got one of those cars out there, no worries on that particular occasion. As you said, a replay there, lots of crisp movement. Ball played over, though, and it's Paul Harrison now on the ball he places that down to the left of his area he goes back four five paces comes forward all in fluorescent yellowy green this evening finds Fletcher ball bounces with message on it right now they're keeping possession again switching play over onto their left hand flank lots of options TNS though as soon as the potential attack breaks down they get players back yeah they're getting uh, straight back straight into the shape Scotty and Evo will have them all drilled to know all the jobs and responsibilities they're doing very well at the moment. I've sat in on a number of team talks, including the one out there in Croatia last week. And the one thing you can say with Scotty and Evo is they both know exactly what they're doing. Oh, yeah. They're both experienced lads, uh, great coaches. And uh, they'll have them set up as they want them to play. And obviously, they've kept the same team for the uh, three games. So they're happy how the lads are doing. And the lads must be doing well because they've got a very strong bench tonight, TNS. A very strong bench indeed with the likes of uh, Draper, Barry, Hudson, Holland, Darlington and Sislovic should a change be needed at some time. Quigley there, three players around him. Hardly surprisingly, the ball's picked up again by the Croatians. Keep in possession, edge of the box, ball played through, but the flag goes up down to our right-hand side as Paul Harrison comes out to collect that ball. TNS regroup, need to take advantage of any opportunity that should come their way this evening. Quigley, the workhorse, is going to have his work cut out as the lone striker up there. Yeah, I think they've uh, recognised them as a danger. They've got, there always seems to be two or three fellas around them all the time. As the ball this time is played, looking for Fletcher, goes over him. Quigley goes down. Does he win a free kick? Yes, he does. Certainly not a, a goal-scoring opportunity down there, but Q the likes of Saunders and Rawlinson set pieces when they do come in an opportunity like this TNS need to send the proverbial and literal big men up from the back yeah well set plays when your games are such an important uh, part of the game nowadays and Scotty and Evo will have them all drilled don't know all the jobs now where to run and we can see how seriously the Croatians are taking this because they brought everyone back either in the box or on the edge of it, bar Hebert, the Brazilian. And lots of green and white shirts around there as well. Just one man in front of the ball as Brobel comes up. He plays one into the box. That comes off. A Croatian head does it. Yes, it does. I think Rawlinson may be appealing for, a, for a, an arm there, but the referee having none of that. But it is a corner to the new Saints. And looking at the replay there, that's just a, a corner. Again, another angle coming in there. Brobel whips yeah, it's that one in. a fantastic ball in. Fantastic great distribution, ball in. Bravo. Absolutely, he's a, he's a fantastic distributor of the ball from situations like that as the players again take their positions in the box. Ball played in, that was looking for Fletcher, still with TNS. Edwards plays that down. Saunders, was that a, a foot in the face? No. Referee, stop play for now. I don't know what he's given here. I, I, I don't know what he's given. There seems to be a... That was a, a high foot for a, me. That, that, was, uh, that was a high foot. So what, what, what have we got there, Tommy? I'm, I, 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 I can't quite see. The, the, he, the he didn't point to the panel spot. No, he's, he's, he's given, given, a, he's, he's given yeah. a kick. He's given a kick there. That was, it. That was, a, that was a, a high foot there. So 
They'll certainly be bringing players back. I, I thought for a moment we could have had a penalty, but from the reaction I've seen of the them players, plenty of times from that. the reaction of the players, it didn't look like that, did it? So we have a, a free kick in the box. Not very often you see them in the box, is it, these very days? Very, very, very. But that's what the new Saints have right now. And the Croatians, I can tell you, as you can see from your screen, they have 11 players in their penalty area. In fact, bar one, they are two. They're all in the six-yard box. They do not want to be conceding here. But this is a great opportunity for the new Saints. Robble on the ball, Quigley behind him. I think we're going to see one yeah, really way off to Quigley. He's got a phenomenal shot here, of course. So it looks like Brobble is indeed going to lay that off to Scott Quigley, who's on fire with the goals that he's been scoring of late in Europe. Can he get one right now? He's ready to tee himself. A ball comes in, Quigley. Oh, that comes off the masses of burgundy shirts there. Great opportunity for TNS Tommy. Yeah, the wall was strong there, blocked it. It was a, a massive wall. It was a wall that Donald Trump would have been proud of. <laughs> they got everyone back there in the box at that time, but it's still nil, nil here at Parkwell as a bear. The Brazilian, he breaks. Poor ball, though, straight to Rawlinson. Flicks Great on ball. the outside of his foot. Good ball again to Scott Quigley. Got Fletcher on the overlap, keeping possession himself, though. Switching play now with Mullen on the far side. Can he weave some of his magic? No. No, he can't. That was a, another good potential opportunity for TNS, but nevertheless, keeping the ball, the game seems to be a little, little bit more open now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, Spender, 40 might have tried the overlap there, but obviously he's tired, he's closing down. Great ball. And oh, and my notes are almost <laughs> disappearing. <laughs> Tommy's <laughs> rescued them. Should have been a goalkeeper there, Tommy. The way you reached out and grabbed those notes, caught in the wind. No, that's never a foul. Ah, oh, this time it's a it's a foul the other side, and I think Ryan Brobble agrees with you there. John Routledge as well, but they're not going to have a crack from that distance, I'm sure. But they do win a free kick of their own the champions of croatia we've now just passed the 25 minute mark here at park hall and it is nil nil on the night two nil on aggregate to hnk rieka as they're looking to chip one up a line of players right on the edge of the box in fact they don't they come back keeping possession with Ristovsky now, he gets one into the box. Good header out by Steve Saunders, perhaps not in the direction that he wanted, but nevertheless clears danger to throw down to uh, right hand side. You can see the corner flags there with the new Saints flying in the wind. But will TNS be flying come 90 minutes this evening, Tommy? Well, hopefully, uh, as I say, they've settled down well now, they have more, more of the play. And the longer the game goes on, better the opportunity. Long range effort, and that's taken behind for a corner there by Ryan Price. Tried to clear it, not able to do so. Got a, a nick on that, so that goes behind for yeah, the he corner. He needed an early shout there to clear his lines. It's down to our right hand side as the number 10, Matei, comes across to take this. He's a Romanian, started his career. One of his early clubs was Stau Bucharest, signed for the champions of Croatia in 2016. Takes the corner, cleared though by the Great new header Saints. again by Saunders. Great header again, indeed. Just Mullen up front, and he's not going to chase that ball down. He's going to allow them to keep possession. They're pushing forward again, whip past Price there. Good defensive clearance again by Steve Saunders. Drops again, though, to a burgundy shirt. 27 minutes gone now, almost nil-nil here at Park Hall. Good play again from Saunders. He's fouled, though, in the process. Good defender. Have you seen much of Steve Saunders? No, I haven't, to be honest, but uh, I'm very impressed. His positional sense is, is very good. And he's uh, just had to defend them all three times in the, in, under a minute there. He's one of the internationals, full internationals here at Park Hall. He's a Scotland international, although he, he came on as a 70th minute sub against the Faroe Islands a few years ago. But as I've said to him many times, it doesn't matter if it's 20 minutes or 20 caps or 200, you still played for your country. 
Any appearance for your country is brilliant. Free kick there. That's taken again quickly by the visitors all in burgundy this evening. Their home kit is a, a, a white kit with a, a little bit of light blue on there, including a, a cross on the front. But this evening they're all in burgundy. They they are keeping possession, denying TNS, but it's not doing the New Saints any harm because when the break is on, it's looking good. But this time it's a break for the visitors. Oh, a Great fantastic block. block there from Connell Rawlinson. You were singing his praises earlier, and that was a fantastic block that kept TNS in this game. Yeah, both the centre arse positional play is very good. Looking quite solid, just a bit down the right here. Uh, no disrespect to Pryke, because he's a very, very good player. Seeing him numerous times, but he's not a natural left footer, and they, they miss Chris Marriott down here, giving them the balance. I think when we talk about fullbacks, we must say that the Marriott Spender partnership has to be the most effective one in the Welsh Premier League. Yeah, year in, year out, they're making the team of the year regularly, and both great players. Yeah, and we do wish Chris Marriott, of course, all the very, very best. Not that far away from getting back into yeah, training. Yeah, I was uh, I was speaking to him before in the clubhouse. He's uh, quite a nasty little injury, but he thinks he's starting to get back in the next month or so. Yeah, initially it was thought a, a good number of months. That's a stray ball there from the visitors. Mullen does well, looks up, chips one down the right-hand side, looks for Brabble, ball bounces once, headed down, though, again by the visitors with Vesovic. He plays that one forward to Gorgon on the ball now, down the right-hand side with Ristovsky. The experienced Macedonian, 33 caps, just the one goal, but 33 caps. Thinking of a shot there from distance, the visitors instead, though, spreading it out wide again. Ball goes out for a throw-in, again taken quickly, keeping possession, lots of movement. Ball played into the box. Does he stay on side? No, he doesn't. And the close. flag goes up there. So Just got to get a bit tighter in midfield. Just starting to drop off a bit, TNS. Yeah, TNS need to get tighter there in the midfield. So if, if you were in the technical area next, you're taking your coaching badges, of course, now, Tommy, you're in the technical area. What would you be saying to those players out there right now? Well, it's hard work, you know, that at the moment, the visitors have got most of the play, but I'd just say, as we clear it, can they get out just a couple more yards each time? But they've got great shape, they're defending well and they're shuffling together. And as you were talking there, we saw an image of Scott Rusko on the screen. And that's down to our left. They do indeed manage to keep the ball in. Good running, though, from Aaron Edwards, making a, a nuisance of himself. Although they do keep the ball, but you have to harass them a little bit. Hopefully they'll make a mistake, get the ball off them, switch play. Just try and keep passing and probing, looking for those opportunities. Yeah, they're very uh, technically gifted. Uh, and that doesn't surprise me, they won the double last year. Well, we are a third of the way through this game, assuming, of course, that it does go the 90 minutes and not any extra time on top, any added time on top, which would be fantastic, because that would mean the TNS at 2-0 after 90 minutes, and it is the New Saints on the attack now. But Price, though, he's got players around him, does very well to keep possession. Does he stumble a little bit? Indeed, he does, picked up by Gorgon into the TNS off. They're keeping possession. They've got players around them. They know where to pass to. They're an experienced side, used to playing together. Into the box, ball tamely, though, through to Paul Harrison. A little bit of a let-off there for the Welsh champions. Yeah, as again, great great through ball again, peeled off the centre arse, but a bit of a tame effort. And it's a great bit of play there Quigley's by doing well Scott again, Quigley, doing well indeed. Lost the ball initially, battled away, won Bringing it back. people into the game. Absolutely, with Fletcher now racing down the left-hand side, wins a corner, lots of applause from the TNS fans. And one thing I've noticed, that the Rieka fans were very, very noisy before the game and early on, they're a little bit quiet now because TNS are making chances of a sort. Yeah, their, their team aren't getting it all their own way so they're quieting down a bit now we're about to see the corner played in lots of players in the box looking to see who they've got to pick up as the movement comes from the green and white shirts and that was a blow there by the referee 
as I think he was climbing on his back. Rawlinson got up, but of course committed a, a foul in the process. Great so they ball in again by Brobel. Great ball in, great ball in. Taking the free kick again, getting us underway. They're good at keeping the ball. Very much like TNS. Yeah, they are obviously they, they can afford to be patient so they can just uh, keep the ball away from their own half and pass it round. And that on that occasion was a stray ball, we were just yeah, saying. There's been very rare stray balls tonight. Paying them compliments, but that ball looking for Ristovsky down our right hand side. Well, he wasn't going to get on the end of that. But Price, he hooks one forward, looks for Brobble, does well to get ahead on that. Now with Mullen, he's in a, a, a left hand side position now, TNS. That's with better. Price. One of back and keeping it now. Keeping the ball, doing very well. Saunders looking to push forward. Oh, that was a, a stray ball there. This time from the New Saints, Aaron Edwards. They take the throw quickly down the left-hand side. Can they keep it in? Yes, they can. Can they whip one into the box? Well, it's a low ball played in with Hebert, the Brazilian. That's Gorg on there. Good block, though, from Ryan Price. Just outside the box still with the visitors though the champions of Croatia 2-0 up from the first leg it's Gorgon on the ball right now Alexander Gorgon signed in 2016 by Rijeka from Austria Vienna uh, prior to this season 25 goals 12 appearances that's almost one every two games and it's Quigley though who Oh, he concedes a throw in there. Will be disappointed with himself. Did well to get across to the ball, yeah, but great, just couldn't great quite keep Craigley, it. Great ball by Saunders. So he's a, him in there half now. A throw in to the visitors. Their fans are in the corner that you can see right now on your screen. Lots of flags draped over the hoardings in front of them and they're just finding their voice again we said they'd gone a little quiet earlier but of course should TNS get a goal well that would certainly change the complexion of this game but as it stands it's 2-0 to the New Saints 35 minutes gone now TNS bringing players back don't want to be conceding that goal of course as the visitors again trying to get themselves into a shooting opportunity lots of patient passing this message on the ball there Matai keeping possession ball played in Harrison does well though to his left he clutches that one comfortably brings it to the edge of his box will he be going direct again for Quigley looks around, places the ball down, right-footed for the TNS number 22. That was surely a nudge there on Quigley. And the referee agrees with me. That's a free yeah, kick. Clever play there by Quigley, getting his body in. And this will be another opportunity for Brobel to step forward, as we can see right now. Bring Saunders and Rawlinson up. It's another set piece. These are the golden opportunities that TNS need to make the most of. Yeah, as I say, they're uh, on the back foot at the moment, a little bit TNS, but defending uh, very good. They're restricting the opposition to long range efforts. Brobble, two, three paces back, plays a ball into the box on the far side, looking for Edwards. Ball bounces, though, cleared again by the visitors. It's this their turn this time to put it out for a throw in as Routledge. He makes his way across, leaves it, though, for Simon Spender. Keeping the shape. Yeah, I'm very impressed with seeing us at the moment. Defend. They haven't got much of the ball, but they're keeping the shape very impressively. Maybe get one or two bodies up down support to Quigley. He's doing well on his own there. He certainly is, and it was him on the ball just now. Back to the thrower, Spender. Rawlinson closed down by Herbert, decides to go home to Harrison. Looks up, ball down the right-hand side, bounces, but then Spender not able to get on the end of that as we approach 37 and a half minutes here at Park Hall. Nil-nil, 2 nil on aggregate. How concerned would you be with nil-nil at this stage? 
Well, obviously there's been looking for an early goal, but it's not to be. But as I say, you can you can score numerous goals in very quick succession. You so they'll be happy can. at the moment with this. Well, we've played the Gibraltar Champions Europa FC. They had two players sent off within the space of a, of a moment or two. So those things can happen in football. What we want is a TNS goal, of course, keeping possession, ball played forward again, though, with Elez on that uh, Croatian under 29 internationally has a, a couple of caps signed from Lazio in July of this year. He was on loan last season from the Italian outfit, 34 appearances, two goals. So he's a defender, he's not going to score many, but as long as he keeps them out, that's his job. Did you score many, Tommy? Uh, no, I think I got uh, seven and over a few other appearances. OK, <laughs> so uh, what, was your, what was the goal that stands out for you in your memory? Uh, well, we were getting beat, I think it was 2-0 half-time against Carnarvon, and uh, the chairman wasn't too happy, and he came down to the changing room, and he uh, gave us a little telling off, and then uh, we came out, I think we... We won 3-2, and I don't normally uh, use my left foot, but I swung one from about 25 yards and I hit the top corner. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do it again? Well, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the chairman came down, he wasn't happy, gave you a good talking to, turned it round, got the three points. What, what sort of player were you, Tommy? Were, were you one that the manager or the chairman needed to treat gently or could you take a good telling off did no, it motivate I, I you could, yeah i could take many a telling off i was just a steady defender but uh, i played most games so i was doing something right well you were here from 20 from the year 2000 till 2011 you must have been doing something right indeed but it's now the turn of the brazilians uh, the, the brazilians the croatians talking about the brazilian Herbert on the pitch this evening. That was a great interception there from TNS as we watch it now there. Jamie Mullen, vital challenge, needed to time that right as cue the players back into position. They will be wanting to get that away goal, which would mean, of course, that they would be 3-0 up on aggregate. TNS would need to score four this evening, and as we, we've yeah, already it's played a big ask, that's Stuart, but, uh, 40 say... minutes, it's going to be a, a, a big ask indeed. But that's another long range effort. Lots of the, those last week, long range efforts from outside the box that, yeah, that TNS mostly came to nothing. Good. They're closing down fast, they got the shape, so they're restricting them to the long range efforts. Which is, is a good sign, is that because they're getting a little yeah, bit frustrated? Yeah, shooting from 35, 40, you know, you're going to be confident that nothing's going to get past H from that sort of distance. And talking of 80s on the ball, now places it down. Right-footed kick into the Croatian half. Good header there by Fletcher. Couldn't quite connect, though, with Quigley. And it's Rawlinson decides to let that bounce, and then he plays that forward with his right foot looking for Spender. But it's the opposition again on the ball with Herbert, the Brazilian, in the box. And that's 1-0 on the night and I, I think that was the number 10 there that scored I think it's Mate that broke the deadlock we'll get a bit of confirmation as we look at the screen but what we can confirm is that it's 1-0 to Croatia as Herbert plays that ball back to Mate looks up past Harrison players around him but it is 1-0 to Rijeka yeah, that's Almost half time, is it game over to all never intents and purposes? Never, but it's going to be an uphill uh, struggle now for TNS. Just a little bit of miscommunication on the clearance there. I felt he may, may be able to head it back to Paul Addison. But it's yeah. a great move by the uh, visitors. Watching the replay, but we are back underway as TNS with Rawlinson ball down the right hand side looking for Mullen. Headed down though by the opposition ball chipped forward this time it does go through to Harrison who's yeah TNS needs to take uh, more of a gamble now I think nothing to lose is the time no. but having said that you don't want to get losing no. three four no. five nil do you Brobble looks up, thinks of a shot, second time, decides to have one. Good effort there from Ryan Brobble, Northern Ireland, under 21 international. Unfortunately for him, though, he hit it well, but straight at the yeah, keeper. Yeah, good execution, but straight down the middle of the keeper. 
As the ball goes out, and I can't see who that goes out to. I think it's a, a Croatian throw there, 1-0 up now. There's Scott Rusko, he won't be very happy, of course, going into the break. A, a late goal in the first half. All the talk was about TNS getting an early goal in the first half. As it's happened, they've conceded one right at the end. You don't want to concede yeah, any time, no, but that's not a good time. Especially the last time. five minutes of the first half and the first five of the second half. They're the worst times to concede for me. Well, their fans are certainly happy this evening. A bear, he managed to get a right foot to that, can't control it though. Saunders does well, clears, not able to reach Quigley. 43 minute mark now passed here at Park Hall. It's 1 0 to HNK. Rijeka, the champions of Croatia, broke Dynamo Zagreb's incredible stranglehold on the Croatian Premier League. 11 consecutive seasons, a bit like the team we played in qualifying round one, Europa FC. They broke. Lincoln Red Imps domination of the Gibraltar League and that was 14 seasons but tonight is what it's all about TNS the Welsh champions for the sixth consecutive season are 3-0 down on aggregate 1-0 on the night is there any way back for the new Saints? Well, you never say never. The spirit of Lazarus may be upon us in the second half, but realistically, Tommy, dead and buried. It's going to be an uphill task, I'd say, but as I say, didn't get, get a goal early second half. You never know. You never know indeed, as long as there are minutes on that clock and the players are out there, they will continue to give their all. But it's the Croatians, the champions of Croatia, HNK, Rijeka, they're on the ball now, passing it around, making it very difficult indeed for the new Saints to get any sort of possession. Just quickly up front, he couldn't get on the end of that one with a bear again with message now looks up thinking of switching it on the right hand side which indeed he does with Ristovsky keeping the ball making it difficult for the champions of Wales to even to even get a touch on it at this moment in time as we approach the half time whistle and indeed with just seconds past it it's 1-0 on the night, there's the man who scored the goal this evening, Mate. He'll be happy. Scott Rusko will not be. What will he be saying in the dressing room? Well, he's going to be disappointed there because obviously they've only restricted them to long range efforts except for the goal. And uh, he's just going to have them well drilled. He's, he's going to say, Believe in your souls, don't get your heads down because the last thing you want to do now is can start conceding two, three, four goals. Yeah, absolutely. We, we spoke, didn't we, at the start of the uh, show this evening, just how well TNS have been doing in, in recent years in the Champions League. Yeah, it just says a lot of where the clubs come at, uh, because as I say, uh, we were getting beat. We, we were never favourites to win any of the games. And then as the years have gone by now, they're, they're getting closer to the big time. So, Tommy, what we want to know is how does someone from the Wirral end up playing for a village team in Montgomeryshire in a tiny little place that most people have never heard of, Flan San Fried. Tell us the story. Uh, well, my old, he was assistant manager at the time, Kenny McKenna. Uh, he invited me up training. Uh, I played, I think it was, we played Shrews being a pre-season gamer, Flan San Fried. And uh, after that, the manager at the time, Andy Cale, asked me to sign on uh, part-time. So uh, and the rest, rest is history then, as I say, full time and, and the team have come on heaps and bounds since. So when you first signed for Flans and Fried, what were you doing in your day job? I just I'd been a YTS at Tramie Rose, I just left there and then um, obviously I, I just left there and I come I went down to Brighton, uh, trained with them for a week but I was unsuccessful. Uh, then Kenny rang me and then we were I think we were part time for about eight months and um and we decided to go full time. So, what were you doing when you were part time? What else were you doing yeah, I was, to I was supplement doing your a, income? Air conditioning engineer. I was uh, putting all the ductwork in, stuff like that. And then it was a no-brainer for me. I, uh, offered to, the chance to play full time football, so jumped at it. Well, we've got perfect air conditioning here at Park Hall this <laughs> evening. We're on the gantry. If you're familiar with the setup, 
There, there, there's no perspex glass between us and the drop to the ground just in front of us. A little bit of breeze, a lovely evening. It's a great night for football, although out there, one nil down, it's not too good, is it? No, not at the moment, but uh, I'm sure uh, Scotty and Neville will be uh, having stern words, especially about the goals. A little bit sloppy, the goal could have been uh, avoided. But uh, they're very positive and they'll get the players feeling positive and they'll come out and give it a good go. So you signed for Thrans and Fried part-time. Did you realise back then where the journey would take you personally? No, no. I remember uh, coming to see the old ground here, the Oswestry Town, and I went when the mayors and it was... Um, Got, obviously it got knocked down then we used to watch the development of this stadium and we could see it was going to be a phenomenal setup and it's a, I think it's a very good community uh, place for everyone to come it's got it's got a restaurant it's got the bowling alley and just a, it's just a shame that there's not many people come to watch the games every week because they play some brilliant football it's just a shame not meant more people see it I think the attendance issue is something across Welsh football as yeah, a it's whole dropped, yeah. and and when I first got into Welsh football I was flicking through the channels one day back home in Wolverhampton tonight a Wolverhampton under season ticket Wolves were away and I'm flicking through the channels and I came across S4C there's a game about to start and I'm a football fan so I'll watch anything whether it's a, a Champions League final or a game on a park pitch on a Sunday afternoon I'll watch anything so I, I watched the game and I can't remember who it was now this would be about six seasons ago and I liked what I saw. I liked the freshness. I liked the honesty. I liked the, the, the setup, the feel to it. So I started to watch games on S4C over a period of time whenever Wolves were uh, away. But I'm a football fan and I don't want to just watch things on television. I want to be there. So TNS is by far the closest ground to where I live. So one night, can't remember who it was, one night I got into my car set off along the A41 out of Wolverhampton, the M54 past Telford, the A5 skirt in Shrewsbury, and I arrived here. I got home. My wife said to me, and she'll be listening this evening, by the way, so I'm going to give her a, a shout-out, my wife, Debbie. We can do those sort of things, can't we, because we've got the microphones. My wife said to me, she said, how did it go? I said, absolutely fantastic. I loved it. I, I fell in love with it as soon as I came. I said, there's one turnstile. There are no police. There's no segregation. The fans wear the shirts, they wear the colours, they celebrate when their team scores, and there's no bother. Now imagine coming from Wolverhampton Wanderers <laughs> into something like this. It's like stepping back in time, but nicely so. And and I and I liked I like not just here at Park Hall with the new Saints, but I like the whole thrust of what Welsh football is all about. Oh yeah, I, I loved all, all the travelling around, even the long journeys to South Wales, going to the little villages. As I say, it's a professional setup here. It's a very, very friendly club. You're always made to feel welcome, and um, it's back to basics a bit with like the turnstile, as you say. But there's been all the helpers, the volunteers. They've been here since I started, and they're still here now. So just goes to show how much the club means to them. Well, as we walked around the pitch. I think we're going to have an interview now, so over to Gary Newbarn. Disappointing first half from uh, home side's point of view, but here's Ian Williams, the chief executive of the club. Yeah, we, we, we've, we haven't had many chances, have we? We haven't created many chances, but um, I think we've been very resolute. We've been well organised. Um, killer goal, wasn't it? We didn't want that. We didn't want that third goal to go in, did we? But um, we've got it all to do, really, second half. And um, we've hurt them a couple of times. Was it a penalty? Was it a free kick? That's the question, I suppose, really. But, um, but you know, we've, we've, got to, we've got to go and score four goals in the second half, which is, which is some ass. But, um, you know, it'd be interesting what tactic we did deployed really early on in the second half, Gary. To, to just clear that up, the referee said there was no contact, which is why he gave an indirect. Yeah, obviously his foot was high, wasn't it? Steve Saunders' head was in there, so there was lots of appeals for a penalty. We, we didn't get it. Um, but we haven't had a lot of clear-cut chances, really, have we? And we haven't really threatened their, their goal. You know, we've been well organised defensively. Um, we've restricted them to only one or two, one or two shots, I suppose. The chairman's joining us. 
You, have you been in the dressing room telling him what to do? No, no, I've done that before. I was looking for you. I was looking for you. <laughs> were you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I went around that way. You must have come down here. Cat so, and mouse. So we were just saying, Ian was just saying, so disappointing. I mean, played so well up to that point. Definitely, yeah. He scored a good goal. He's worked it well, but that the indirect free kick situation. I'm just watching on my phone now. Well, he's caught him. He's definitely caught him. He's caught him, and um, probably that's a, a clear goal scoring chance, and that's a red card. Pen and red card. Well, well, I don't know if there been a red card for that actually, because he wasn't the last defender. But um, we not. No. I think we wanted, we needed that all-important first goal, didn't we? I think with them getting that that goal now and going three goals up, obviously we we we've got a bit of a mountain, bit of a mountain to climb. But um, if we can get an early goal in the second half, who knows? You know that could change the the, the pattern of the game. So hopefully that's what we'll be going for. Well, we're having a look at that again. I think on our replay. I am. Um, we'll and what do you we'll, say? I'll leave it the commentators uh, to decide that. Come on, one. we both wear glasses these days. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, can, we, we can now both be wrong. <laughs> I mean, the great thing you can still smile because I mean, the one thing that shouldn't have happened today is an away goal from your point of view. And actually, it was for the first time sloppy defence. Defence had played so well up to then. Well, they've done extremely well. I think all the lads have tried very hard, but you can see the quality in this side. They're quick. They're sharp. And you know, they're not international players for no reason, are they? So what do we do now? Pray or what? what do I we do? I think we might have to pray, um, drop our trousers, run around the pitch, <laughs> look for synthetics and give it a squeeze. What do you think? Well, I think, I think <laughs> that would definitely... I what think you, you dropping your pants and running around would definitely distract the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ladies would just watch the football. Actually. That's all right, I'm sure they would. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like that, that plastic joke earlier. Yeah. The real thing or some synthetics? Yes, you weren't here. You missed that one, Ian. So I'm glad. I'm I think glad, we'll I'm hand back to our great I'm commentary I'm team today. Um, so let's go back to our commentators. Thank you, Gary. Well, Tommy, are you about to drop your pants and run around the pitch, as suggested by Chairman Mike Harris? Yeah, not so nice, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off to the dressing room right now. We can see there the images on the screen. Tommy, happy dressing room or frustrated? It looks a bit disappointing, to be honest, there. But as I say, they're all going to be collecting the thoughts and they're all thinking about the jobs as they come out for the second half. And they'll come out in a positive manner. Yeah, they will, won't they? They, they will be positive. Yeah, Scotty and Evo are uh, very positive characters. And they'll be uh, making sure that they believe in themselves. And they'll come out and give it a good go, I'm sure. Still 45 minutes to go. As I say, anything can happen. Early goal in the second half. They're professional footballers, they will go for that early goal now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, Chairman Mike Harris, he's, a, a, char character. he's a character, <laughs> isn't he? Oh, I've had uh, many a good night with uh, Mr. Harris, especially on the European journeys, on the way, she beers on the coach and on the way home. I, I'm, I'm sure you've got some <laughs> stories to tell, oh, but I, I, I think <laughs> what happens in Warsaw stays in Warsaw, <laughs> or wherever it may be. Some drinking games, yeah, loads. <laughs> Because, of course, Tommy, you, you've played 19 times um, in Europe and one substitute appearance. Well, when, when I came to the club, I was very fortunate to see Scott Rusko become the most, well, capped, if we could use that word, most appearances for a Welsh Premier League player in Europe. He made 30, and then he was pipped by Pip. Phil Baker, who we were hoping to get on, it, on with us this evening, by the way, but he's on a family holiday. Yeah, yeah, I so when so, I yeah. contacted Pip, the three of us would have been together. And then, this time round, Paul Harrison, well, he made it 32, he's now extending that. So as far as appearances in Europe is concerned, TNS are keeping it in the family. Oh, it's phenomenal records. Uh, as I say, I played with uh, Scotty and Pip, two fantastic players. I think even Scotty can still do a job now. He's fit as a fiddle. But as I say, H, uh, he's got many, many years left in him, H, so I'm sure no one's going to uh, catch up to him in appearances in Europe. Well, I interviewed him after he made the record, and I, and I put that to him. He's, he's still young as far as goalkeepers are concerned. He's got a couple of years still left on his contract. TNS continue to do well. He can start to put a few more appearances on that Oh, definitely list. so, yeah, and he's a very good professional, looks after himself. He's agile, he's, as, as you can see, his kicking second to none. So he's got numerous years left as a goalkeeper. 
and it's, hopefully many more appearances in Europe. It's always difficult for the number two here at Park Hall. We had Chris Mullock for a, a while and then he moved to Aberystwyth to try and get a little bit more regular first-team football. Now we've got Andy Witcherly who's come through the system, a great goalkeeper. Played for England under-18 schools. I, I was here, we did TNS Radio. Normally I'm on TNS Radio. Tonight we've been promoted, <laughs> we're on TNS TV. So you've come in at the deep end really where it's all happening. But we, we do have some very, very good goal keepers coming through but the bottom line is more so than any other outfield player because you can at least switch positions sometimes it's basically all or nothing you dislodge H or you don't yeah so he's, a, he's a fantastic goalkeeper I don't think I've seen him have a bad game to be honest so he's going to, he's going to be a regular for years to come no it, it, it certainly has been so far Bar injuries such would obviously but well I, I did speak to him in the interview and I asked him how he got his break and he was the number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Gerard, who you've played yeah, with, he, yeah. he was yeah. injured. So H got an opportunity, he took it, and he continued to play. Yeah, as, as I say, at the time, he had the, the two brilliant goalkeepers, and unfortunately, Jed was injured and H stepped in. But obviously, yeah, Jed's gone on to have a... He's still having a great mm. career now, captain of Derry. Mm. So uh, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, well, the, the players, well, certainly the TNS ones are coming out onto the pitch right now. And the burgundy shirted visitors will be joining them in a moment or two. The floodlights are on here at Park Hall. There's a nice, gentle breeze. I'm Stuart Bloor, and I'm joined by Tommy Holmes, TNS legend. Is a little smile going to come on his face when I say that? Yes, it is. Let's be honest, though, Tommy. You've, I don't you, know about legend. You, you were here from the year 2000 to 2011. Yeah. No one stays at the New Saints for that length of time without contributing seriously to the success of the club. Yeah, to be honest, I was disappointed to leave. I thought I had a very good season. I had to play a lot of games left back that season, but obviously the manager at the time uh, didn't think I was going to be in his plans the next year, so shook hands, no hard feelings. I've always come back to the club and enjoyed my time. Yeah, how, how difficult is it you, that moment comes? Obviously, it's going to come in every footballer's career when you're basically told, sorry, we don't want you anymore. That's the bottom line, isn't it? Well, as I say, it was out the blue because uh, I thought I'd had a very good season. And uh, but obviously, different managers have different opinions, and maybe want their own plays. And and there was no hard feelings from me because I had a fantastic 11 years here, and uh, I left with happy memories. Great memories indeed. Will we be seeing some happy ones this evening? Though we talked about the dressing room at half time, will it be a, a happy dressing room? In other words, a, a positive one, or will they? in their heart of hearts know that it's an uphill struggle no, one the, step too far the tns spirit is uh, never give up and obviously they've got nothing to lose now so they can maybe express themselves a bit more because obviously you're going to be nervous for the first 20 minutes testing each other out you don't want to concede the easy goal so maybe you're over defend slightly but now they can go out and have a real good go well it is harrison who's well out of his box right-footed effort there down the left hand channel looking for Fletcher ball hooked forward Edwards gets ahead to that picked up by Price finds Routledge TNS seem to have a, a tempo about them at the start of the second period ball played down the right hand side it's Zuta though gets ahead of Mullen he clears it keeps the ball in I'm not going to peer too much over the gantry because it's an open one in front of us but the ball does stay in play with the new sense great play there from Aaron Edwards left-footed effort great shot yeah, great intention technique. from TNS right at the start of the second half there yeah straight in the front foot as soon as it's kicked off that's what we need and the goal kick is taken quickly there, short, just to the edge of the box with Vesovic now. He's on the ball, plays that across to the number 18, Elez, keeping possession, looking up, seeing who they can find, Tinez, bring players back. Certainly don't want to go 2-0 down. That's, that, that would be game, set and match for the Croatians, surely. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, TNS most probably the, the fittest they've ever been, but it's hard work closing down for long periods of time. So they'll be using a lot of their energy. So when they get it, they've got to keep it and be patient, build it up a little bit. As it stands at the moment, TNS do need to score four tonight 
with with the Croatians not finding the net again to progress into the qualifying round three of the Champions League. So it looks like the Croatians are going through at this moment in time. We never know, we never know what will happen. This is football. We're just into the second period as that ball runs behind. That'll be a, a goal kick. Fletcher shepherds that one out, throws it to Harrison. He'll be wanting to get us underway quickly. Paul Harrison, who's now to our left, if you are familiar with Park Hall, we are in the gantry. We have a fantastic view over proceedings this evening. And we also have monitors in front of us as well. So we can see what's happening with the big picture, but also we can see the minute details as well in front of us. And Gary Newborn said, I'll leave that to the commentators when he talked to Mike Harris about the, the foot catching Steve Saunders. Did it catch him, yes or no? Uh, it's hard to see from the from my screen here, but um, I've seen them given most mm. definitely. Yeah, it certainly was. A, a, I was expecting a seeing that appeal to be honest a bit mm. more because uh, I, I would have been appealing there. Were you the sort of player who's to appeal for everything? Yeah, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I bet he really lost me temper. <laughs> and Quigley continuing to battle away as Edwards does, closing the visitors down quickly. They still have the ball, though, showing what they made of, but it's TNS now with Edwards, finds Quigley. Robble looks up, right-footed shot, well struck, but straight into the arms of Simon Sluger, the goalkeeper this evening. Yeah, he, that's the second one he's had tonight. Uh, second one great straight. Great technique, but unfortunately, right down the middle. Straight at him. Now keeping the ball again into the TNS half with Gorgon. This time he turns, looks up, got one or two options around him, decides to go for goal, almost identical in the sense that straight at the keeper, not troubling them. Yeah, well, as a defender, you're happy if the opposition are, you know, limiting the chances and only shooting from, like, 30 yards. You'd normally take that all day. Harrison plays that through to Edwards, couldn't quite control it, though. Ball given away. Gorgon does very well there to trap it, forced to come back, but still keeping possession. Down the left-hand side again with Zuta on the ball right now, again with Hebert in front of us, up against Brobel. The Brazilian goes down, no foul given, though, TNS keeping possession, but forced back, need to get the ball forward without giving it away, of course. Yeah, they're depressing well, the, uh, the visitors, and sometimes you just got to be patient, play it back and go out the other way. So a bit more options uh, on the ball for me. To Saunders, given away there, though, with the, the number 10, the, the goal scorer, Mate, but the referee blows again down to our left. It's the Croatian fans who are the happiest this evening, we did wonder what the mood in the dressing room would be like. I could imagine it was a, come on, lads, let's give it all we've got, nothing to lose, who knows what may happen. Yeah, well, Scotty and Evo know the club inside out, and uh, for me, the right people for the job. And it would be great, wouldn't it, to see them? They've been here a few years, you know, they've got the, get, the take brilliant the coaches, uh, they love the club. They're going to be a success. And what about your own career? Because we keep coming back to this. You've done a little bit of coaching. Yeah. At, at what yeah. level would you like to get involved with? Or as someone in football, do you want to be the highest that you possibly can get well, to? Obviously, uh, the Welsh Prem's the, the first target. Well, I was at Conway. Uh, I was assistant mm, manager there. Assistant manager and then, there. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out. Uh, unfortunately, it was a bit harsh at the time. But uh, So I've stayed out the game for a bit, playing just with my friends. But uh, I've just recently become... Uh, assistant manager at Brimbo. It's a little team in Wrexham, great yeah, setup. Yeah. So hopefully when we get started, we can be a success there and that's the start of something bigger. And while we were talking there, uh, Vesevich goes off and the number 17, Gavranovic, he replaces him with 51 and a half minutes gone here at Park Hall. We're in the second half, of course. 1-0 on the night to Rijeka, 3-0 on aggregate, which means the maths are easy to work out. TNS have to score four goals without reply. Well, are we being a little bit optimistic even thinking there's a, a chance? Massive ask, there's a massive ask, like, but we'll see how we go. 
And it's Edwards who bears down on goal, finds Mullen. Does he remain on side? No, the, the flag goes up down to our right. And talking of flags, we have a, a huge Welsh flag behind the Croatian goal it's right now. It's not a permanent now. fixture, is it? Or? It's, it's not a permanent <laughs> fixture. It was put up yesterday. It's appeared for the Champions League games. As indeed, we've got the flags way beyond uh, where we are now, looking out to the car park. We have the Welsh flag, the Croatian flag, and a couple of UEFA ones, the UEFA flag itself and the respect flag out there. But it is 1-0 on the night to the champions of Croatia, 3-0 on aggregate. It looks like TNS are on the way out, as indeed they have done for the last couple of seasons in the second qualifying round. Seems to be a little bit of a hurdle coming close but not close enough yeah well, it's, it's hard to, you know the the budget the larger the budget the maybe the better standard play you can get but uh, the, to compete even at this level is great achievement for tns well if we talk about budget the croatians have a, a plain budget and let's get back to the action there oh it's two nil it was the substitute gavranovic turned in the box right footed shot past harrison's uh, diving to his left past Paul Harrison in the back of the net no chance there for the TNS goalkeeper and captain it's 2-0 looking at the replay there he turned yeah, a little, and uh, and a little deflection to set him off yeah dropped nicely for him could Rawlinson have done something a little bit better there do you think as the the covering defender uh, that's difficult to say for me lucky deflection off Rawlinson's leg to set him up well, it is 2-0 on the night, 4-0 on aggregate. TNS need five goals to get through to the next round. Dead and buried? I'd say so now, but obviously they need to keep their heads and keep going on it. They don't want uh, any more goals conceded. And it's, not, it's a respectable scoreline now. Yeah, well, we have played 54. We mentioned 54. Uh, previously because that was the minute that Apoel scored out there in Cyprus TNS nil nil here at Park Hall 54 minutes out there in Cyprus and that led to another goal and then one right on the stroke of 90 minutes it was a, a penalty they went through 3 nil their fans are happy this evening probably playing in Austria because the Austrian champions beat Hibernians of Malta 3 nil on the road last week so we wouldn't expect a shock there necessarily but the new Saints continuing to pass the ball around as Rawlinson looks up down the left-hand side looks for Fletcher ball bounces once got a couple of players around him he does very well though to keep hold of that back to Scott Quigley again players in front of him Fletcher still looking lively ball chipped into the box hooked up only as far as Aaron Edwards he goes up for the header though doesn't quite connect with that TNS doing well battling away Tommy That's that's one thing you can say, a great team spirit. It always has been OD, he'll never give up to you, to go right to the end. As indeed we're witnessing that right now, 55 minutes gone here at Park Hall. TNS continuing to play, as we've just said, battling away. The way can hard to win it back, but I just feel when they win it back, they need to maybe be a little bit more patient. Going Wins back to the opposi opposition quite quickly. A free kick, and we've got the referee indicating that we could have a substitution i think i think it's adrian sislovich who's coming on yes from the monitor we can see that adrian sislovich is coming on and wes fletcher is going off so the first tns substitution of the evening and when you think about it is is battled they've all worked well this evening adrian sistovich quality player bring him on fresh pair of legs ball played up looking for rawlinson though does he keep it in yes he does does very well indeed he chips one up on the edge of the box looks for mullen ball played down to edwards drops to saunders who's in the box, but TNS do win a free kick. Certainly a, a, an opportunity for a pop here, I would have thought, from Brobel. Yes, yeah, definitely in range. And they're certainly going to bring players back for this one. I think everyone's going to be behind the ball. Well, we have Gavranovic, the number 17, the substitute. I think he's going to make his way back out. 
where we have Routledge and Ryan Price. But it's going to be Ryan Brobble who eyes this one up. We have a, a four-man wall in front of him. Spender just in front of that. We could perhaps be seeing Zuta joining it as well. He's just to the left of them. I think he may be picking up Spender, and now he's joining the wall right now. Got a five-man wall. He moves across to the other side. Spender making a little bit of a nuisance of himself there, but it's Brobble who comes up, looks up, hits the ball just over there from Ryan Brobble. It hits the Welsh flag behind the goal, but unfortunately, Tommy, it doesn't hit the back of the net. No, it's got to be some strike from there to uh, get past this goalie. Looks quality. A, a good goalkeeper indeed, Simon Sluger. Not necessarily troubled uh, in the first leg or even this evening, but he certainly is a good goalkeeper. But it's the visitors again who are on the ball. They try to feed the number 10, Mate, down the left-hand side. But it's Tennis who get us back underway with Sislovic. He'll be looking to... You know, prove a point as well. Individual players will be looking to impress Scott Rusko because although the Champions League adventure may end at some point, the Welsh Premier League still there, the Welsh Cup, the Welsh League Cup, they're all ever present in the calendar. Yeah, well, it's, it's a very strong bench, and uh, everyone's going to be disappointed uh, not to be starting, to be honest. But as I say, um, they must have been doing well, and sometimes keeping the same team helps you a lot. And a reminder that TNS lined up with Harrison, Spender, Saunders, Rawlinson, Routledge, Brobble, Fletcher, Mullen, Quigley, Edwards and Price. And we've seen just the, the one substitution where Sislovich came on for Fletcher. But it's TNS back defending on the edge of their box. Nice little turn there by Sislovich, keeps possession. He's bundled over, wins a free kick in the process. Of course, Adrian Sislovich wearing headgear because of the game uh, that I was at at Clan did know where he took a, a very nasty knock indeed and it wasn't nice to see the game was 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 out for several minutes uh, ambulance came stretched off we, we didn't know at that moment in time what had happened but to see him back to see him training to see him playing well that's what you want to see after that sort of horrific injury yeah your house uh, the most important thing nowadays that's great to see him back out there he's a phenomenal player and it's not just about just starting 11 no more in, in football now. It's, it's about the squad game, like the subs can come on, win you the game quite easily. And that was Zuta just down beneath us here on the balcony. Albanian descent, born in Sweden, but he plays for Macedonia, where he has 15 caps. He's quickly now, can he get on the end of that? Well, he does, but he then gets put behind for a goal kick. Sometimes, Tommy, situations like this you need the rub of the green it didn't just work there did it for Scott Quigley uh, you need a little bit of luck in football you see from the replay he, he bore down well but the ball came off and didn't drop in the way that he would have liked it to have done 2-0 60 minutes gone two-thirds of the way through this game here at Park Hall the home of the Welsh Premier League champions but it's Rijeka the Croatian counterparts who are on the attack right now. What a shot there from the number 20, Gorgon. He hit that as sweet as a nut. Great strike here, yeah. great ball again by the captain. I've been very impressed by the captain tonight. That sounded like your left footer that you were talking about earlier at Carnarvon Town. It was was lot, it anything like that? It was a lot slower than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, however slow it was, however fast that was, the reality is this evening that Rijeka now take a 3-0 lead here at Park Hall, 5-0 on aggregate. A reminder that with away goals and, and, and uh, what they've scored this evening and what they scored in Croatia, the tin need to score six six goals and we've played 62 minutes yeah, they're looking very deflated at the moment here in this but needs to just keep the heads up and keep going as keep we see I'm respectable a, another substitution Quiggs goes off and Greg Draper replaces him. We've talked about the international calibre of the Croatians. Well, TNS have a couple of internationals of their own on the pitch right now. Greg Draper, New Zealand, and already mentioned in the show, 
Steve Saunders from Scotland. And we have another substitution. This is a bear, Dos Santos, who makes way the number nine. He leaves the field of play, and it's Djokovic who replaces him. Number 23. 3 0 up on the night, 5 0 on aggregate. Individual players, how difficult will these, well, almost 30 minutes, 28 minutes to go be for those players? Yeah, it's hard. As I say, you just got to, you got to keep your head. You, you, you don't want to uh, get in a dropping because seeing this, I haven't had one of them for many numerous years. Like, as I say, I've been on the end of an 8 2 and it's not nice coming off the pitch, but that won't happen tonight. But a nice goal. And a goal back will be a nice consolation for them. That's the voice of Tommy Holmes. Tosh, the nickname. We might talk about that because it was here at Park Hall that that nickname was given to you. So how did that come around? <laughs> Keep me, it clean. <laughs> <laughs> there, is a, there is a story behind it. Uh, my old gaffer, uh, Kenny McKenney, brought me to the club. He just, he just started to call me Tosh and then... I'm known that's Tosh everywhere I go now. <laughs> so something as uh, as as innocent as that, yeah. and it's it's no meaning with behind it. No meaning behind it at all. Well, I'm Stuart Bloor, and I can tell you that it's three nil here on the night, and that's Scott Rusko that you can see on your screen right now. He won't be happy. He was confident going into this game because the Croatians played us last Tuesday and then they also played on Saturday as well. The Croatian League has, has now started uh, and then come in here this week as well. Three games in a week, but it doesn't seem to have affected them out there. No, no, as, as I say, all three goals, I, I think they could have been avoided myself. And could this great, be a fourth again. one? Yes, it is. <laughs> into the box, 4-0 on the night. As you can see, smiles all round, well, as far as the Croatians are concerned, but it's a night of dejection as far as the champions of Wales are because it's 4-0, 6-0 on aggregate. Yeah, they're having a lot of joy down the right-hand side, the visitors. He's got in numerous times in the second half already. Does very well there to keep the ball exactly where he wanted it to be. Puts it back past Harrison, and that's Ristovsky. We mentioned a lot in the first half. He's a, a lively player. A Macedonian, he's 33 caps for his country. One goal, it doesn't matter who you're playing for these days. There's no pushovers as far as international football is concerned. If he's played 33 times for Macedonia, he's a good player. Oh, most definitely. Well, TNS are about to get us underway. In fact, Tom Holland comes on to make his debut, Champions League debut. He's on the, the pitch right now, but it's 4 0 to HNK Rijeka after that goal that went in there. Well taken goal, well worked goal, well executed. It is 4 0 on the night, 6 0 on aggregate. Tinas need to score seven. Well, we've, we've been moving up the, the, the numbers, haven't we, throughout the course of the night? And seven, well, that is certainly uh, a well, step too far. That's not going to happen tonight, but as I say, you can keep being positive and maybe nick a goal. It's a good consolation for them. And a reminder that it was Aaron Edwards who went off, replaced by Tom Holland, who himself comes to the club, a recent signing, himself comes to the club with a fantastic pedigree, started at his hometown team, Bradford City, moved to Leeds United, then on to Manchester City, where he was for five years, then on to Swansea City, and now he makes his way to Park Hall. But... This evening, it's all about Rijeka, 4-0 on the night, 6-0 on aggregate. They continue to push forward. Good play, though, by Sistovic. Backtrack there, does Great very defender. well to keep possession. That's what you need from players yeah, like you that. Need, you need push your midfield, forward and get back. Forwards, uh, the defence starts from the front. And he's tracked all the way back there, done very well. And, and keeps possession, and of course, individual players like Sislovic, who, who didn't start this evening, he wants to send out a signal to Scott Rusko, yeah, Steve he, Evans. Yeah, he Look, wants to show them. I, I, I want to be in that starting lineup. Yeah, come first game of the season, you know, everyone wants, you're always disappointed if you're uh, not in the starting 11. As I say, it's a squad game nowadays, and so's win your games. 
as Holland did well there to find Price, wins a, a free kick in the process. I think we could be seeing a, a substitution from the visitors, of course, because TNS have, have now used up all three of theirs as the board goes up just beneath us here on the balcony. They, they'll be thinking about the, the next round, won't they, travelling to Austria. As Gorgon, he leaves the field of play. Austrian played for Austria, Vienna, 135 times, 47 goals, signed for Rijeka in 2016, 25 appearances, 12 goals. Wherever he's gone, he's found the back of the net. As Brobel looks up, decides to go forward, plays one into the box, played down there. Draper, can he keep the ball in, hooks that one up? No one with a green and white shirt anywhere near it, though picked up again by the visitors. Brobel keeps the ball for TNS, given away, though, down the right-hand side as TNS have a throw in 68 minutes played here at Park Hall. The noise, even from the visitors now, seems to have quietened. They probably just yeah, played time out. They'll after probably... they scored the goal, they've found the voice here. Uh... But well, you know they're going to win now, so they just yeah. They'll probably in. get a bit noisy when it gets yeah. to about 80 minutes, and they. Can uh, you translate the uh, translate the song for us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, and that's a ball by Mullen played in. Sistovic comes on the end with fantastic yeah. effort. Adrian Sistovic, 69 minutes. We were talking just now about players playing for their places. Ball across the box. Sistovic hits it first time. Past the keeper, well, it is a consolation. Yeah, Nothing more than that. I would that. say, great bit of play there. Mullen got to the byline, had a little look up, squared it back, and it's a great finish. Yeah, Adrian Sistovic watching the replay there, goes through the player. Sistovic hit his first time, he knew exactly what he was doing, looked up, a little bit of a curl on it. Yeah, hard technique the to execute that, the ball coming onto your first time shot. Yeah, it's 4 1, though on the night, unfortunately, what we would give for that goal to have been scored in the first couple of minutes. Well, could have a different outcome then. Totally different outcome, I'm sure, indeed, but it's 6-1 on aggregate, 4-1 on the night as Rijeka lead. They continue to keep possession, passing the ball around, forcing the New Saints back, just Draper up front at this moment in time and even he's now making his way back trying to make a nuisance of himself trying to hassle the away side it's Holland though on the ball looking confident a young man looks good he's signed like any player Tommy that signs for a club he's not there to make up the numbers he wants to impress he wants to make the starting lineup himself but he's got a task on his hands yeah as I say every player has here that they've got a, a decent squad and anyone can play, anyone can start, really, for me. It's all as good as each other. Whether it's Obviously, you have the defense, nucleus of the team, like you got your, right down the middle of your spine. Yeah. Then it's horses for courses. Rijeka, the champions of Croatia, are heading for the next round. Well, it's 4-1 on the night here at Park Hall. 6-1 on aggregate. We look back over that first leg and we... We saw a couple of late opportunities that TNS had. If only one of those goals would have gone in, it would have been 2-1. But at the end of the day, Tommy, these things happen and you, you can't look at those things in that way, can you, no, really? I say, yeah, they're a very strong team. They're always going to be favourites. As, in, as indeed they, they were out there in Croatia and coming to Park Hall this evening, pushing forward, keeping possession, passing it around amongst themselves. Good play, though, from New Saints. That's Holland on the ball, finds Sislovic. Used to being a lot further forward, but the way that they're pushing on, players are having to drop, aren't they, too? Yeah, just needs to try. To it's harder it's physically demanding tonight, these type of games. Just got to try and get out a little bit higher, close the gap between centre-forward and defence. Good passing there, though. Yeah, that's it. Patience. Sistovic, Price, Great and Harlan. to get it back. Be patient, keep it for a bit. Keep your breath the ball. back. Draw the opposition out. 
Routledge strokes that across to Rawlinson. Thinks of uh, a one for Sister, which instead goes to Brabble. Lumball played looking for Draper. It's up against the defender. Pulls him back. Defender goes down. That's a free kick to the visitors. HNK Reaker. Reminder that we have now played 72 minutes here at Park Hall. I'm Stuart Bloor, and this to my right in the commentary box here in the gantry is TNS legend Tommy Holmes. Making me blush here, Stuart. <laughs> 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 a big smile comes on his face every time I describe him as a legend. Well, to be at the New Saints for 11 seasons, I think you've got a, something about you, Tommy, even if I say it and you won't say it yourself. Because <laughs> I was funny in the dressing room, I think that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> But again, it is the visitors keeping the ball with Zuta again down to our left. Everyone looking lively, no weak links amongst them. The substitute, Gavranovic, on the ball, plays that one across, keeping possession. Chernich, another one of the substitutes, ball played in, looking for Gavranovic again, but it was Harrison who got there first. Draper goes down, can TNS win that back with Routledge. Referee penalises him there and oh, there's, oh, there's a card do, do, do we need to see that one again no, most, I, I, most can't see. Not. I, I can't see what that card is for I think we need to have a look at the replay there maybe there was something that that we didn't see that the referee of course who's just a, we a are few quite yards high away. up here Stuart yeah <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are very high up oh, are kicking, the ball, kicking away, the ball away yeah. that's what the card's for a little bit of dissent there, understandable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very frustrating sometimes, this happens. Yeah, so it was the kick and the referee, he's not giving him the benefit of the doubt. He, he The knife's in and he's twisted it there. 4-1 to Rieke on the night, 6-1 on aggregate. We yeah, hope he needs to use a bit of common sense there, the referee. Yeah, we hope you're enjoying our, our show this evening. We had lots of interviews both before the game and at half-time. Gary Newborn doing a fantastic job there with chairman Mike Harris chief operating officer Ian Williams we had Scott Rusco as well there the manager someone who Tommy knows very very well indeed from his time here at Park Hall yeah he's a I think Scott he was uh, the best midfielder I've ever played with anyway mm. such a brilliant player and a great lad to boost as well uh, absolutely, I, I agree totally with those two points I've seen him play now seen him come through of course into the uh, managerial position and it would be fantastic for him to then take the club forward because Craig Harrison has done a, an amazing job here at the New Saints not just Craig Harrison but the people around him like Carl Darlington let's not forget yeah. it's not just the manager is it is a, yeah. a team of people oh yeah it's a, it's a team effort you know Scott Roscoe was assistant manager and Stevie Evans holding to I think it's just a natural progression for uh, Scott and Steve now they've been here they know what it's all about and how's and he going to Brimbo? Yeah, well, I've only been to one session at the moment, only went last week, uh, yeah. so uh, I'm getting started next week. That's good, and you're excited about that? Yeah, I, don't, I, I, miss, the, uh, I miss the Saturday, being involved on a Saturday. Mm. It, it's, it's a buzz, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I like, I semi-retired a few years ago, and then I, was, I, I got a chance to go to Buckley. Went there and uh, re enjoyed it, one of the most enjoyable seasons I've had, to be honest, playing football. Mm. It's not just about the Welsh Premier League. There's a there's a great system right the way through. Yeah, you're visiting all little villages here. Especially yeah, the lower you get, you don't know where you know where you haven't been. Obviously, you've been to all the places in the Welsh Prem. And it's Mullen in the box, oh. but the flag goes up very early there. Draper looked up, right-footed chip, looking for Mullen, but the Bulgarian official down to our right immediately. He put the flag in there. That's Scott Rusko who will be very, very disappointed this evening. Came into this game with expectations, came into this game with high hopes, talking to him this week, listening to the press conference, conducting the press conference. He was interviewed by one of our local journalists. We, we, we picked up that there was a, a very positive mood in the camp, but sometimes you need more than just positivity, Tommy. Oh, yeah, Scott, he's a very uh, positive person, and he would have been very confident tonight, but... As you see, that it's such a quality opposition. They've won a double in Croatia, and you know, that's no mean feat. And going on about budgets again, you know, that's it's a very big, strong club. 
And it's the visitors again with possession, passing it around, edge of the box, flicking one in. Good header out, though, there by Ryan Price. Back again with Rieke, looking to chip on into the box. That goes through. Rawlinson goes Great position down. by Spender again. Very, very Over. good position indeed as he looks up Great for point. Draper. Chest that down to Routledge, finds Draper again with Brabble down the right-hand channel. Doesn't quite drop, though, for Mullen. There are times, Tommy, when it's like this, it just doesn't work for you. You just don't get the rub of the green, do you? No, sometimes you need a bit of luck in football. Like if, if it's a couple of day goals. It could have been avoided for me. Mm. Little nick, and, but that's football. That's football, and the score this evening is 4-1 to the... Croatian champions, their fans have now found their voice. 77 and a half minutes played here at Park. All the floodlights have been on for some time, although it's still quite bright out there. But the prospects for TNS have making it into the next qualifying round. Well, they evaporated, or certainly began to evaporate just minutes before the break when the opposition scored their first goal since then they've added a further three four one on the night six one overall and of course that means because tns needs to score seven in the next 12 minutes which i think even the most optimistic person would not be expecting that to happen yeah i would say it's not going to happen but if they just keep being positive now and get another consolation no the score line is not looking as bad that, that's that's probably all you can be playing for. Well, at this I was. Uh, in I time. thought it was a very good result last week. Uh, only getting beat two 0 to be mm. honest, the way to this quality of opposition. Well, the way they came at us from the off, scoring after four minutes, you you would have settled for two 0 Well, I would have done anyway. Speaking from a personal perspective, as the ball comes in into the back of the net, it's Gavranovic, the substitute. Open goal there, five one on the night 7-1 overall tns have capitulated which is not like a new saint side at all no it's not but sometimes you've got to take your hats off to the opposition no they're a very good team very fit strong you've got some great players and talking of your hats well we have a couple of policemen over there keeping a very are a keen eye on the uh, fans in the corner there. They've got their hats on, they're well behaved though, we must say. But they've got a, a, a couple of Croatian police who came over, by the way. And I was, I was talking to one of our, our local bobbies earlier, and he said, could you get us a, a time Europe, make it a high risk one, I fancy a trip to Europe. <laughs> well, of course, we know that uh, TNS will be on the way out of the Champions League this evening. It's 7-1 on aggregate. A little bit of a disaster as far as the scoreline's concerned for the champions of Wales. But we must say, up against a very well-organised, well-drilled HNK Rijeka, who not only are a very good football inside, but they come from a beautiful part of the world. Tommy, have you ever been to Croatia? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we qualified uh, for Europe with uh, Prestatin Town when I was there. So, uh, okay, of yeah, course. Yeah, we went and that out was there. against Rijeka. And I've never thought of the, uh, a place to go on holiday, but after spending f two or three days there, I uh, was very impressed. It's a lovely place, lovely setup. It, really it's, enjoyed uh, it. It's, it certainly is, and that's one of the things that came across my mind, as it did uh, across a lot of the players when we were out there. It's the sort of place where we would go back with our wives, our partners, and have a, and have a holiday out there. But this has certainly been no holiday, has it? 7-1 on aggregate to the champions of Croatia. They're passing it around. They're confident. TNS are still continuing to, to, to look for opportunities. Individual yeah. players want to impress. Very tired now, TNS. It's, it's got to be difficult. Yeah, they've got to, just got to keep the discipline now, keep the shape. Try and concede no more goals. The opposition enjoying it now, they're passing it around. It under is no pressure. 5 1 on the evening, 7 1 on aggregate. They're keeping the ball, making it very difficult for the new Saints. They don't even need to push forward, really. Just keeping the ball, 
keeping possession down the left hand side with Zuta. Lots of movement. They're looking fresh. They're not looking like a side that's played three times in one week because they didn't make many changes at all going into this game from the side that featured last Tuesday. They're super fit. They've proved that this evening. Well, at their level, they're elite athletes, and I know I don't see the problem in playing two or three games a week. 82 minutes almost now on the clock here at Parkle. We're just counting the minutes down, as indeed out there on the pitch. 5-1 on the night, 7-1 on aggregate. I'm Stuart Bloor, and joining me this evening has been Tommy Holmes. I hope you've appreciated the, the show, the little chat that we've had, bringing you a little bit of insight into Tommy's career, of course, here at Park Hall, where he was from uh, 20, well, the year 2000 until 2011. Although we say Park Hall, he spanned the move as well from Flansant Fried. But it is 5 1, 82 and a half minutes gone. Now the bench, as a, as a reminder, we were talking about the bench earlier. We've got Andy Witcherly on there, Draper's come on, Parry's still there, Blaine Hudson, Tom Holland, and Sistovich are on the pitch, and Darlington's still there. But it's the visitors who are looking the most likely to score right now as they get a corner which is down to our left as the Romanian Matai, he makes his way across, signed in 2016 prior to this season, 31 appearances, three goals, is a live wire whenever he gets the ball, certainly a playmaker. So we wait for the corner. Yeah, they got quality right through the team. They, they, mm. mo they most certainly have as the corner comes in. That's high, deep, very high, very deep, and that just rolls over, rolls behind, and that's a goal kick to the new Saints. Down to our left, Paul Harrison. It's not very often that he concedes five goals in one game. I'll yeah, be shocked at them. It, it, it certainly will. He keep will. going till the end, bit of pride now. But they've done exceptionally well to get to this stage, to be honest, so... So we got with the heads held high. For Sislovic, still with TNS as Saunders hooks it forward again, looking for Sislovic, still battling away, but they're up against a very well-organised, top-quality opposition, not just last week, but this evening as well, and the scoreline reflects that. They say the camera never lies. Well, Tommy, the scoreline doesn't either, does it? 7-1, it reflects the difference in, in the teams over these two games. Yeah, as I say, it's, it's, they're a quality opposition. And seeing us are doing well, to be honest, let's keep this score at this at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what, Tommy, we've thoroughly enjoyed having you with us on TNS TV. Are you going to come back and make another appearance? It, yeah, always, yeah, always a pleasure coming back here. This is the first time I've ever done this. Oh, no, sleepless you, night last you, night for me. Oh, <laughs> no, you, you texted me this morning. You said, I've had a sleepless night. <laughs> I said, I said, don't worry, it'll be great. Has it been great? Oh, I've really enjoyed it. It's been brilliant. Yeah, I'm, I would I'm, say great to come back and see all the friendly faces and this is my first experience of commentating. Yeah. Well, we're going to get you back. Yeah. Because we uh, do no TNS problem, Radio, no of course, through the course yeah. of the season. So we'll definitely get you back on TNS Radio for a, a Welsh Premier League game. But you didn't tell me we'd be mic'd up and uh, <laughs> <laughs> earphones. <laughs> yeah, we've got the full works here this evening. We're on the gantry. Disappointed, of course, it's it's 5-1 here to Rieke, 85 plus minutes played, it's 7-1 on aggregate as TNS bow out of the Champions League competition in the qualifying round two, as indeed we did last season at Cyprus and the season before in Hungary, except not quite with the goals conceded that we've seen this evening. Yeah, this final hurdle for TNS, I do feel in a few years uh, they're going to overcome it. Yeah, I, I, to to I, I totally agree. I think this is a blip. I think it's something that the team will learn from, the players will learn from, the manager, right the way through the club. Something that everyone will recognise is, is not a good night for the new Saints, 5-1 down. But nevertheless, look to build on this 
against a, a very strong opposition. They break again down the left-hand side with Gavranovic, the substitute or one of the substitutes, edge of the box, long-range shot. That was rather tame indeed. It deflected, though, took a, a little bit of a nick on the way through. They do win a, a corner. 87 minutes here at Park Hall. And it's just Draper who's up for the new Saints. He goes to close one of the players making his way across for a short. But all of the tennis players are in and around the box as he comes up, headed down by Rawlinson. But the whistle goes there. 87 minutes indeed have now been played at Park Hall. And we see folks leaving. There's a good crowd here this evening. They want to get in their car, get off home and forget tonight. Yeah, they're totally in control now. Yeah, they, they kept four players back there in the opposition. But it's TNS on the ball, still yeah, continuing so, so to, to try and never play give up. football, not giving up. That's not the spirit of the new Saints. Saunders finds Rawlinson as there are one or two gaps appearing now as people do make their way home. But we can tell you that the little band of Croatian fans in the corner, there's no gaps whatsoever there. They are going to stay to the end and enjoy it very much indeed as it's their side which pushes forward again with message down the left-hand side. TNS continuing to battle away though with Routledge to Spender, low ball to... Tom Holland, who's, who's done well, he showed a lot of promise since he's come on. Yeah, he's come on, he's kept it neat and tidy, he's always made himself available. There's not worse as a defender when you look up, and there's not many options, you need two or three every time. But it's back with the opposition, 88 minute mark has now been passed here at Park Hall. The floodlights are becoming a little bit brighter as the day draws to a close. But it's not just the day that's drawing to an end, but TNS's European adventures as far as this season is concerned. But there will still be plenty of travels, hopefully on the way anyway, because we're in the Iron Brew Cup again this coming season. And as someone who has a ground up a gene, well, I love the fact that we drew four far Livingston and St Mirren all away. I'm sure as a player and someone involved with the team, you want the home draw. Oh, yeah, you do. And uh, I'm not a fan of the uh, away journeys myself. But going all around South Wales and I used to struggle <laughs> with travel sickness. Do you have travel sickness? Oh, yeah, terrible. <laughs> well, it's TNS who won't be having any travel sickness from the rest of the season. Well, as far as European adventures are concerned, because it's 7 1 on aggregate as TNS bow out of the Champions League in the second qualifying round. Did very well in the, the first round, 2 1 down at Park Hall to Europa FC. A very good Gibraltarian side and then a tremendous 3 1 win in Portugal because the, the pitch hadn't been cleared, the stadium hadn't been cleared by UEFA, but it's not gone to plan this evening as Brabel. He looks to play a ball into the box. He's a good four paces away from this. Saunders, Rawlinson, they're up there. They want a consolation. There's a referee about to get play underway. He's going to blow the whistle. Yes, he is. Brobble steps forward, plays the ball into the box. Cleared, though, again by Rieka. They, 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 it's dropping for them, Tommy. Everything's dropping for them. Not the rub of the green for TNS. Yeah, that's, that, that's the, the first poor ball Brabble's put in for me, to be honest. And we have a confirmation that there will be three added minutes here at Park Hall. And it's the Croatian supporters who are making all the noise over there in the corner to our left. But Sislovic sets himself up instead back there to Rawlinson who's pushed up, ball given away though as the visitors certainly won't be looking to do anything gongo because they are 5-1 up on the night, 7-1 on aggregate but it's the number 10 Mate, the Romanian does very well, sets himself up for a shot, rattles the crossbar 
That would have been 6-1 and 8-1 in aggregate. Fantastic play from him. Yeah, a and a little player. fantastic shot that he unleashed. Beat Harrison, but couldn't quite beat the crossbar, thankfully, as far as TNS are concerned. The new Saints continuing, though, to, to, to try and get their heads up, continuing to, to do something with this ball. We've now played one and a half minutes of the three added the additional minutes that were indicated just now with Holland down to his right looking for Mullen but the ball goes out there and we're having a replay there great rasping shot rattled the bar the net behind jumped up and down just like it does when I've got a big barbell in it and I've been on the River Seven fishing <laughs> do you do any fishing Tommy? No, I, back in the day when I was about 14 uh, I was a lad. <laughs> I, I, I'm, a, I'm a very, very keen angler, and trips to TNS usually involve a, a rod in the back, dropping off somewhere on the way or on the way back. But I'll tell you tonight, I won't be dropping off anywhere other than to get the match report done, get all the stuff tidied up. But we can tell you that TNS's European adventures have come to a close for another season, as we're just 30 seconds away from the completion of this game the huge welsh flag is still proudly displayed behind the goal but on the pitch five conceded with just one for tns 7-1 on aggregate i must say tommy we knew it would be tough but we didn't think that would be in the score line did we that wouldn't be how it would all pan out no i wasn't expecting a 5-1 but as i say it had a little bit of rubber the green the opposition and um TNS haven't had many chances, but it's a fair result for me. And that is the final whistle. We will be no doubt going over to some interviews in a moment or two. So Gary Newbon will be cutting into us any moment now as the players leave the pitch. But from me, Stuart Bloor, and to my right, Tommy Holmes, we've certainly enjoyed your company and we've had a good time, apart from the result, of course, Tommy. Yeah, disappointing result, but it's been a pleasure to be up here with you tonight, Stuart. Well, it, it's the pleasure's all has been all mine, as they say, Tommy. Cheers, mate, thank you. Well, the, the players are, are still out there. We, we can see Gary Newborn out there on the far side and the cameras are there. They'll be grabbing someone. They'll be grabbing someone as they leave the pitch, but it's 5-1 here on the night, 7-1 overall. The TNS supporters are filing their way out of the stadium. They're quiet, they're disappointed, they're dejected, but to our left, we have a load of people there at the corner crammed in, bouncing up and down. They're yeah, happy, very happy with the they're results. cheering because they're into the third qualifying round as their players now make their way across and they congratulate one another. Good job done on the pitch, good job done off it as well. Just a few of them, but they've certainly made a lot of noise, haven't they? Oh, yeah, that most definitely. We've got a few songs there. <laughs> and what about your own football in as, as a fan as well? Do you like to go and watch games? Uh, yeah, I try and um, go and watch Sammy Rovers as much as I can. Um, but obviously, if I'm involved in football on the Saturday, that makes it very difficult. Uh, I'm, I've come to the odd TNS game when I can as well. But I'm going to try and get to a few more this year. Well, it would certainly be a pleasure to have you, and I, and I can tell you, Tommy, that if you come to another TNS game, you will be with me with a microphone in your hand, not just enjoying the game, but getting involved in this side of things as well. Have you enjoyed it this evening? To be honest, I have, yeah. I've, uh, uh, I've tried, I hope I've come across OK. It's the first time I've done it. It was a last-minute thing, but uh, I've enjoyed, enjoyed it today, yeah. But you've, you've come across very well you indeed. Baby shot me, bro. <laughs> uh, and, and didn't I tell you it would all be okay? <laughs> you did, you, you did. said I've had a sleepless night. I'm, I'm really worried about. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Kevin, you ate last night. <laughs> not, I'm worried about getting this microphone, but I'll tell you, you've done really well indeed. It's been great all round, apart from what really counts yeah, what's exactly. happened out there on the pitch. A, a disaster, really, for the new Saints to, to lose 5-1 five, five this evening, would you say? 
Uh, yeah, to score a line, yeah, but, uh, you know, the, the, the underdogs here, even though, uh, you know, there's always a chance, but he can now concentrate on uh, the domestic league that's going to be starting very soon. Indeed, that starts in August with a trip to Bangor City on a Friday night and then a week later here at Park Hall where we will be playing Bala Town. So a couple of difficult uh, uh, yeah, yeah. games it's, it's there gonna, to it's keep gonna the be, season It's getting off. better, the standard, every year. Plus, Certainly you know, is. That's where the bread and butter is. He, he, that's how they qualify for uh, Europe by being successful in the league and cups. So that's what they'll be looking for this season once again. Will it be seven consecutive Welsh Premier League titles? I, I believe so, most definitely. What about challengers? Bangor City, Ballatown, Connors yeah. Key? Yeah, they're, they're the three for me that's going to be up there. They're very strong. They've got uh, great managers. Uh, they're building great squads. Uh, my brother has just gone to Bangor, Danny. Yeah, he's just signed for them. So uh, I'll be going to watch a few of their games as well. So well, I heard Gordon Evans make a few comments about that. <laughs> We're over to Gary now. Over to Gary Newborn. My thanks to Tommy Holmes and to Stuart Bloor. have done a great job on the commentary. Here's the goalkeeper and captain Paul Harrison and the manager Scott Roscoe. Difficult to talk after that, actually. I shouldn't think it's very often you let in that many goals, is it? No, it's a tough uh, tough night for us, but um, yeah, I think the stuff that got knocked out was uh, in the late on in the first half with that goal. You know, you know, it's an uphill battle from there, but you know, we try to keep going as best you can, but you know, it's difficult when you know there's four goals in it or whatever there was, so. Just really tough to speak at the moment. Could some of those goals have been avoided? And were you happy with the referee's decision on one? Uh, I'm unsure, but Steve Saunders told me that one was definitely offside, and the last goal was a definite handball as well. But you know you can't grumble over the, them decisions. You'll get them in the season when you do the way. So we'll see how it goes. I think the thing was, Paul, you were defending so well in the first half, and then that goal was could have been avoided well, just it. before half time. I think we were comfortable, to be honest, first half until until the goal. I think we had the best of the chance as well, if uh, we look back. So it's just disappointing. I say it just knocked the stuff out of us. I think that that goal that late on in the half, and it was just really difficult coming out the second half, getting yourself up uh, going again. But you know, I say if they're a good team, you've got to take it out of sometimes when you're playing a good team. Scott, uh, obviously very disappointing for you, but I mean, in fairness, before we say anything else, they've got twice the budget you've got. They've got £10 million budget, they've got six internationals. <laughs> anyway, I think it's more than twice the budget. It is. Uh, yeah, we, listen, we know before beforehand, uh, we told the players about their individuals that would hurt us, and they did, they're, they're a quality side. Um, I thought we did fantastic last week, last Tuesday, you know, to maybe come away with 2 0. No, it could have possibly been 2 1. If you don't take your chances when you get them against teams like this, then it's an uphill battle. And I thought the lads were fantastic for 42 minutes tonight, and then obviously they get the goal, and, and then it does, it, it takes the wind out of your sails because the lads then know that it's got to be four goals. And, you know, even though we keep believing, we, we want the boys to believe. <sighs> They're not running as much and they're not doing the things that maybe they would have done at uh, nil nil. And that's, that's, that's just the way it goes, you know. It's uh, credit to the opposition, credit to our boys for, for sticking in for so long. Um, and I just thought second half, like the, the clash did show through. Where does that leave you personally? Because obviously the European is so important to the chairman, but surely he'll also realise that you, you're carrying on where Craig Harrison was yeah, doing. I'd like to be given the opportunity, yeah, you know, obviously. Uh, 5-1 is not a great, not a great show to go and to go and promote yourself to be the manager, is it? But um, you know, I believe in the players. Hopefully, they believe in me. Uh, it's one where I like to be given the chance. Um, I think we've prepared as best we can. We, I don't think preparation could have been any better. Um, I look at myself. I've got a question, you know, the time of substitution. But I wanted to get uh, Sis on. I wanted to give him minutes and. And West was fantastic for 55 minutes. He was brilliant, you know. And, and Sins has come on that side, and, and they've scored straight away on, on the left-hand side. But that's nothing against him. That's what happens when you make substitutions sometimes. Paul, this away goal is so crucial when you play the away leg first time, isn't it? First match. Definitely, yeah. And we definitely had the chances to get that away goal as well. But you know, as you say, you don't take them chances. You get punished, don't you, yeah. at this level? And it proves tonight when they get their chances, they put them away. You know, they don't miss them. But, you know, that's a learning curve for us and we have to get better at it next year. You do so well in the Welsh Premier League. That's what you've got to concentrate on now, obviously. There's going to be no hangovers over this, is there? Definitely not. There's a while as well before the league starts, so, you know, we'll have enough time to get out of our system. But, you know, the lads have been brilliant. You've seen that with the consistency over the years, like five, six years, we're in the league, literally every trophy we've won. So we've dominated for that long. So I don't think that's a problem that side. You know, the lads will be hungry to go and win the league again. And were there some plus points tonight? 
Um, it's, di- it's difficult when you're coming no. off with losing the game yeah. that much, but the plus points from Europe, you know, I think we've defended really well. Um, we showed the team unit. Uh, we've come back from a game where, you know, we thought we were down out at one point with the two way goals. You know, we've showed resilience to come through and we've got back through. Um, even the first leg, I thought we were outstanding. Tonight we were good for 42 minutes, like Scott said. So, you know, we've done everything right. It's just that, you know, sometimes you just face that, that top level and, you know, they take the chances, you don't, and that's, that's the result. From the club point of view, Scott, what, what, what have you learned from this, do you think? Yeah, learn a lot. You learn a lot from players, you know, uh, definitely from the first sort of the first leg going 2 1 down. I truly believe that we could go there and win. Um, I know the players inside out. I've been here for 15 years um, and I know the spirit and the, the camaraderie within that dressing room pulls us through. And like Paul says, uh, you know, hopefully we can go and dominate next year. League, the Welsh Cup, League Cup, we'll go and try and win all those trophies. We're in the Scottish Cup again, we'll give that a go and we want to win everything that we're in. So, yes, I'm disappointed tonight and I'll have to reflect on it and, and see the goals again, uh, look, at the, look at the game as a whole. Um, but it is disappointing at the moment. But We'll, you know, we'll, we'll have a good go, we'll have a day off tomorrow, back in Thursday, back to it. Can I thank you both in difficult circumstances for coming out and giving such good interviews? I really appreciate that. Thanks, thank you very you. much. Good captain, <laughs> and uh, I hope you get the job permanently. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, great to have those two after a real hammering for the new Saints. But I hope you've enjoyed the coverage here on Facebook. Our thanks once again to the commentators. Thanks for being with us. I'm sure we'll do it again. And that's 1-0 on the night. And I, I think that was the number 10 there that scored. I think it's Mate that broke the deadlock. We'll get a bit of confirmation as we look at the screen. But what we can confirm is that it's 1-0 to Croatia as Hebert plays that ball back to Mate. Looks up, though, with Quigley. And it's... Rawlinson decides to let that bounce and then he plays that forward with his right foot looking for Spender But it's the opposition again on the ball with Hebert the Brazilian in the box and that's 1-0 on the night And I, I think that was the number 10 there that scored. I think it's Mate that broke the deadlock We'll get a bit of confirmation as we look at the screen But what we can confirm is that it's 1-0 to Croatia as Hebert plays that ball back to Mate, looks up though with Quigley and it's Rawlinson decides to let that bounce and then he plays that forward with his right foot looking for Spender but it's the opposition again on the ball with Hebert the Brazilian in the box and that's 1-0 on the night and I, I think that was the number 10 there that scored I think it's Mate that broke the deadlock we'll get a bit of confirmation as we look at the screen but what we can confirm is that it's 1-0 
to Croatia as Hebert plays that ball back to Mate, looks up, and it's Rawlinson decides to let that bounce, and then he plays that forward with his right foot looking for Spender, but it's the opposition again on the ball with Hebert, the Brazilian, in the box, and that's 1-0 on the night. And it's Rawlinson decides to let that bounce, and then he plays that forward with his right foot looking for Spender, but it's the opposition again on the ball with Hebert, the Brazilian, in the box, and that's 1-0 on the night. Butchers, the larger the budget, the, maybe the better standard play you can get. But, uh, but to compete even at this level is great achievement for TNS. Well, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget. And let's get back to the action now. It's 2-0. It was the substitute, Gavranovic, turned in the box, right-footed shot, past Harrison's, uh, diving to his left, past Paul Harrison in the back of the net, no chance there for the TNS goalkeeper and captain, it's 2-0, looking at the replay. The Just the larger the budget, the maybe the better standard play you can get, but, uh, but to compete even at this level is great achievement for TNS. Well, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget, and let's get back to the action now, it's 2-0, it was the substitute, Gavranovic turned in the box, right-footed shot, past Harrison's, uh, diving to his left, past Paul Harrison, in the back of the net, no chance there for the TNS goalkeeper and captain, it's 2-0, looking at the replay. There. Just the larger the budget, the maybe the better standard play you can get, but, uh, but to compete even at this level is great achievement for TNS. Well, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget, and let's get back to the action now, it's 2-0. It was the substitute, Gavranovic, turned in the box, right-footed shot, past Harrison's, uh, diving to his left, past Paul Harrison, in the back of the net, no chance there for the TNS goalkeeper and captain, it's 2-0, looking at the replay, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget, and let's get back to the action now, it's 2-0, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget, and let's get back to the action now, it's 2-0. Just the larger the budget, the maybe the better standard play you can get, but, uh, but to compete even at this level is great achievement for TNS. Well, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget, and let's get back to the action now, it's 2-0. It was the substitute, Gavranovic, turned in the box, right-footed shot, past Harrison's, uh, diving to his left, past Paul Harrison, in the back of the net, no chance there for the TNS goalkeeper and captain, it's 2-0, looking at the replay there. Just the larger the budget, the maybe the better standard play you can get, but, uh, but to compete even at this level is great achievement for TNS. Well, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget, and let's get back to the action there, oh, it's 2-0. It was the substitute, Gavranovic, turned in the box, right-footed shot, past Harrison's, uh, diving to his left, past Paul Harrison, in the back of the net, no chance there for the TNS goalkeeper and captain, it's 2-0, looking at the replay there. Budget, the larger the budget, the maybe the better standard play you can get, but, uh, but to compete even at this level is great achievement for TNS. Well, if we talk about budget, the Croatians have a, a plain budget, and let's get back to the action there, oh, it's 2-0. It was the substitute, Gavranovic, turned in the box, right-footed shot, past Harrison's, uh, diving to his left, past Paul Harrison, in the back of the net, no chance there for the TNS goalkeeper and captain, it's 2-0, looking at the replay there, but it's Rijeka, the Croatian counterparts who are on the attack right now, what a shot there from the number 20, Gorgon, he doesn't seem to have affected them out there. No, no, as, as I say, all three goals, I, I think they could have been avoided myself. And could this great, be a one fourth again. one? Yes, it is. Into the box, 4-0 on the night. As you can see, smiles all round, well, as far as the Croatians are concerned, but it's a night of dejection as far as the champions of Wales are because it's 4-0, 6-0. It doesn't seem to have affected them out there.
No, no, as, as I say, all three goals, I, I think they could have been avoided myself. And could this great, be a fourth again. one? Yes, it is. Into the box, 4-0 on the night. As you can see, smiles all round. Well, as far as the Croatians are concerned, but it's a night of... I, I think they could have been avoided myself. And could this great, be a one fourth one? Yes, it is. Into the box, 4-0 on the night as you can see smiles all round well as far as the croatians are concerned but it's a night of dejection as far as the champions of wales are because it's four nil six nil on aggregate yeah they're having a lot of joy down the right hand i think they could have been avoided myself and could this great, be a great one again. fourth one yes it is i think they could have been avoided myself and could this great, be a one fourth one? Yes, it is. Do you uh, translate the songs for us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, and that's a ball by Mullen, played in. Sistovic comes on the end with fantastic yeah. effort. Adrian Sistovic, 69 minutes. We were talking just now about players playing for their places. Ball across the box. Sistovic hits it first time. Past the keeper, well, it is a consolation. Yeah, Nothing well, more than that. I would that. say, great bit of play there. Mullen got to the byline. I need to translate the songs for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, and that's a ball by Mullen, played in. Sistovic comes on the end with fantastic yeah. effort. Adrian Sistovic, 69 minutes. We were talking just now about players <laughs> playing for their places. Ball across the box. Sistovic. Translate the songs for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, and that's a ball by Mullen, played in. Sistovic comes on the end with fantastic yeah. effort. Adrian Sistovic, 69 minutes. We were talking just now about players <laughs> playing for their places. Ball across the box. Sistovic hits it first time past the keeper. Well, it is a consolation. Yeah, Nothing well, more than that. I would that. say, great bit of play there. Mullen got to the byline. Played in, Sistovic comes on the end with fantastic yeah. effort. Adrian Sistovic, 60. Play the, uh, translate the songs for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, and that's a ball by Mullen. Played in, Sistovic comes on the end with fantastic yeah. effort. He came at us from the off, scoring after four minutes. You, you would have settled for 2-0. Well, I would have done anyway, speaking from a personal perspective, as the ball comes in into the back of the net it's Gavranovic the substitute open goal there 5-1 on the night 7-1 overall TNS have capitulated which is not like came at us from the off scoring after four minutes you you would have settled for 2-0 well I would have done anyway speaking from a personal perspective as the ball comes in into the back of the net it's Gavranovic the substitute open goal there 5-1 came at us from the off scoring after four minutes you you would have settled for 2-0 well I would have done anyway speaking from a personal perspective as the ball comes in into the back of the net it's Gavranovic the substitute open goal there 5-1 on the night 7-1 overall, TNS have capitulated, which is not like... I would have done anyway, speaking from a personal perspective, as the ball comes in into the back of the net. It's Gavran... I would have done anyway, speaking from a personal perspective, as the ball comes in into the back of the net. It's Gavranovic, the substitute, open goal there. 5-1 on the night, 7